It's what I need Now if you wanna get the best of me Are you smiling? That's for sure Funny how you had the best of So I pass the night away when nobody is away. I'll be the last to stay. And I pass the night away, no matter what they say. Pass the night away when nobody is away. I'll be the last to stay. And I pass the night. Arabic with man's housewife, I would have worked out. Tell me. Shake it up. Yeah, feel me. You feel me? No cash on me. Swipe for a million. Yeah, feel me. You feel me? Walk in the door. Shake up the building. Yeah, shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Ooh yeah, shake it up, 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 shake it up. Don't care, cash got cars. No lean on my cars. Car hard on my heart. Tattoo on my scars. Tattoo my new scars. My life is that hard. See me in the light. I was in the dark. I wake up, I send it. I wake up, I spend it. I drive Chevy, no business. See me slide, not tenant. My house, yeah, I own that. Your house, yeah, it's rented. Started where the flow at. Now I top the building, yeah. You feel me? No cash on me. Swipe for a million. Yeah, feel me. You feel me? Walk in the door. Shake up the building. Yeah, shake it up, 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 shake it up. Ooh yeah, shake it up, 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 shake it up. On trips, I never chill. No. Shoulder gotta chill. Yeah. My best friend, my chick. My, chick. my best friend go whip. Sure. My best friend, she pull up with a pull up with a stick. Go, go, go. My best friend, she pull up, then she skirt off, and we deal. You feel me? No cash on me. Swipe for a milli. Yeah. Feel me? You feel me? Walk in the door. Shake up the building. Yeah. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Ooh yeah, shake it up, 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 shake it up. Get a wife, disgusting. Hi everybody, I had to unmute myself. Um, first things first, I have to show you something to Unpaved Road, okay? I promised I'd show you this uh, black jumpsuit that I bought the other day from Best and Less. Dohiki and Nicola, you would know. Oh, yeah, I'm fixed now. Back again. Shady's back. Tell a friend. No, it should be right now. It should be now. I should be. I'm on now. It's okay. It's all good now. I'm just going to show. I'm just going to stand up and show it's for unpaved road. It's the only way that I could show them. I'll show you guys too. I got this. Um, I used some of my YouTube money to do a little bit of shopping and bought myself a few little presents. So I'm just going to show you this outfit so unpaved road can see it, okay? Can you see? It's a jumpsuit. It's so cute. Look. And it's got pockets. Pockets and it's so stretchy and I love it. It was an absolute bargain and I've been wearing it all day and I absolutely love it. It's made out of viscose, which is basically bamboo and um, linen. And guess how much I paid for it? Guess. If you guess the price in the chat, you get points. I know. I want to get more, but they only made them in black. 
and it is so comfortable and it's the perfect length everything fits it gives me a waist it fits my thighs it fits my bums it fits my boobs it fits all the bit and it's oh, and the straps aren't too long i love it i know i was thinking that sage five dollars us uh no a little bit more it cost me 20 australian dollars at best and less love it um for ho a holiday it would be the perfect vacation because i can put a denim jacket over it i can put my swimmers underneath it i could put on a pair of heels and some nice jewelry and dress it up for a night out put a belt on i could wear sneakers with it thongs and dress it down for the daytime like I, if i was going on a holiday this thing would be coming with me for sure love it first time wearing it today i was a bit hesitant i was like oh if it fits it's perfect i love it twelve dollars us which would be close to um about twenty dollars australian i guess oh no it'd be a little bit less than that ghost was close yes you're the closest yeah and um it's a wash and wear as well because of the viscose in it i don't know i i walk see i walk past it when i go to the shop so i always see their newest stuff um that's out on the hangers on the first day so i'm usually get the pick of it first thing in the morning because i usually have it out and i'm like oh i'll take that one oh i'll take that one and i always go and have a look at the sale racks down the back too because i've always got some good little things in there oh i'm hot now from dancing around and all that good stuff but guys i've been doing some editing today yesterday i did a whole bunch of editing yesterday so i could do a longer stream with you guys today hence why i'm starting early tonight um so yes we're doing glitters and lasers and i know you guys aren't a huge fan however i feel like she's got the good she's a good mix for me has no idea half the time what she's doing she's got good film good sound a lot of stuff that we can play around with i have done a video i spent about four hours yesterday editing her down i changed her voice for nicola because i know nicola cannot stand her voice so i changed it to something a bit nicer you can still understand her it's not weird or anything and i've added in pics for the trip that she's going on and what i would put her in if it doesn't work now the items that look good on her i just left the ones where we need to make improvements i've thrown in some ideas and then you guys can tell me what you think about those ideas and the reasons why and then i've come up with another fun game fashion game for us to play i got a bit creative and then we're just going to watch the normal ambi and foodie i did edit one ambi video and one foodie video because they were just a hole full of nothing and i just kept the bits that we would be interested in and got rid of the rest and then the two other vlogs we're just going to watch in total sounds like a plan right the only thing now i need is a beverage and look at that i've got two of them cordial pepsi and pink gin oh, i've got it all happening today it's all happening today jelly jelly oh hi tip Angeles. hi the the q a was just a whole bunch of her whining about her mental health blah 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 blah. but i kept in the two most important things the hair conversation and the weight loss conversation everything else was just wah, 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 blah 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 boring nobody cared half the questions were her coming up with the questions um about her hair and makeup i'm sure and then some stuff we did want to know but I stopped when, yeah, you'll see what I did at the end because, oh, my God. Can we do foodies first because the Q&A was traumatic? I got her 30-something minute down to about six, eight. You don't watch Ambi? I cut her short because she she's a whole lot of boring. I'm invested, though, you see? Foodie went live earlier but only grew up here about reactors. Chicken and Missy Moo showed up. Chicken, chicken, chicken pickle, barbecue chicken. Bali chicken reacts which chicken oh is sunshine country chickens here if if they pop in can someone let me know because i found a really cool channel for them today and i did find a juicy bit of tea it's not someone we can cover long term but oh the crossover i found a crossover video today i was watching my um uwu body cam video and i found a crossover with a youtuber and it was like Body cam meets foodie beauty meets Keshi meets Insta meets TikTok meets true crime. Like it was just everything. And I want to watch it with you. Not today. We'll do that on another stream. But I was like, you guys are going to love this. I bet you'll absolutely love it. I wish she was someone we could follow long term, but I don't think she does much on her channel anymore. But oh, she would have been so good at the time. Oh, 
We want to do foodie. We do really didn't want to know I needed ear bleach when she gave us too much information. I stopped at the too much information, Shelley. I stopped. And I know the point that you're talking about because I, as soon as she started to, I was like, no, no, stop. I stopped. I cut myself off. I didn't do it to myself. I'm not a self-harmer like that. Chicken gate. Lol, that's why I behaved in breezy. Oh, I get, I know. I, look, and I just want to be up front, guys. I don't have any sock accounts. I do not have any. Um, if you hear or see someone in the chats acting funky and acting weird, please check if it's me because I don't chat in a lot of chats. I go into Hannibal's and I'm active sometimes. A lot of times I just lurk. I'll sometimes comment in FFGs. I will comment in Skinny Queens. I watch all, pretty much all of Skinny's, but I'm always lurking in the background because um, I don't want to, like, you know, interfere and stuff. But if you see me acting like a jerk, please question it because it's probably not me. I've got a feeling there might be someone in there, like, pretending because I got a weird comment today, yesterday, and I'm just like, that doesn't sound like something I would have said. I might have, but I don't think so. But so if you see it, question it. See if you can get one of the mods to check to make sure it's, the real dough cookie, okay? I only watch reaction. She's an absolute chain wreck. Yeah, I I I watch foodie, so I have to edit it to get rid of the bits. And normally with glitter and lasers, I just watch it free form with you guys. But I know a lot of you guys are like, um, so I've decided to edit them. So my reactions might be a bit more prepared. I like to freestyle it a little bit. But if it makes you guys a little bit more open to watching it, because I want to watch it with someone too. I don't want to enjoy it alone. <laughs> um, but foodie, I can't watch her raw. I can only watch it while I'm editing it because I'm not really focusing on what she's saying. I'm just cutting bits out. Um, I saw her reaction video on FFG's live. Whose reaction video? Did I miss a lot today? Oh, she was pulling crap out. Look, let's just get into foodie. Let's just get into it, Okay. We can sit here and just talk about speculations or we can actually watch it and talk about it in real time. Okay, which one is it? This one? Okay, so we're going to do her vlog first. Okay. Now, I did, when I edited her um, eating video, because that one we just needed, nobody wants to hear about the Harry story. I just kept in a few bits. I did I did kind of retune Sala's song a smidge. I think I've improved it honestly think I've improved it and I totally cut him out and we we're going to pause before we see him on the vlog because nobody wants to see poopy face but let's get going okay Kelly I every time I think about hitting play I think no is it playing and I've got to make sure because I don't I don't want to do that because I get so embarrassed when I forget to play it I really do I really get mortified you know all right does anybody think this is a snail under the sea? I know it's meant to look like symbols, but every time I look at it, I think it's a snail under the water. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the chicken. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll talk about that chicken. All right. Are you ready? Let's go. Are you ready? I want everyone to sing the words to this song if you know it, okay? Sing along, right? We've got to hype Sala up so he makes more music. Yeah. Shahur al-Ghufran, Ramadan, 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 Ramadan. Hi, welcome back to another video. Do we think that Salah's made that music for that? He sat there and they've recorded it on the phone and then they've added the MP4 fly file to that opener. That's what it sounds like. He's just put some beats He's laid some beats down with the beats machine. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Welcome to a Ramadan vlog. You might hear some fan noise in the background. I apologize, it's Kuwait, it's hot here. So here is a Sahur recipe I made. It is a frittata. Now, what tells me she's never made a frittata? Because that's how you say it. it's a frittata, not a frittata. It's a frittata. I cannot eat these. I can't eat quiche. I can't eat ham and egg pie. I can't eat frittatas. I can do scrambled eggs, but I can't. Scrambled eggs and omelettes are about as eggy and as yolky as I can go. Quiche makes my gag reflex just, I can't even look at it. I can't even smell it. I can't. I can't. The, the ones, the mini quiches with the lots of cheese, they're fine because they're really firm. But 
frittatas, oh, uh, uh, it's a texture thing. I can't, I can't do it. But she's never made a frittata in her life. It was actually very delicious and filling and satisfying. Why wouldn't it be? It's eggs, cheese, and butter with tiny little bit of veggies in there. What's not to like about it? And healthy. Five eggs. Hello, guys. But five eggs for two people. You only need like, for, for a frittata for the two of them, you'd only need like maybe two, maybe three eggs. You don't need five eggs. Five eggs. Five eighths up. That's 450 calories just for the eggs. Guys, nice. Ramadan Kareem. Welcome to the first day of Ramadan. Fasting has officially begun. It is. Oh, it probably it's a uh, post fajr here. The only way you can ruin a frittata or an om is to burn it. Is to burn it. And if she kept the heat down low, it, you can't really ruin them. But maybe she burnt the other side and just kept the good side up. And this is my new chill bab. Three and eggs. Very comfortable. Three eggs. I love the material. Very flowy. And uh, I'm just going to show you a bit of the decorations we just did. We Aren't you disappointed she didn't model it for us? And she didn't take us shopping for it? She could take us online shopping. She could do that during one of her, oh, look at her wonky eyes. The eyes are still super wonky. She could take us online shopping. She could get the stream yards out and take us onto one of the online websites, Timu, Sheen, whatever El Cheapo shopping site that she jumps on. And she could be like, guys, which one? Should I get the blue one? Should I get the green one? What do you think of that one? Instead of just going, I'll get the black cheap one. Oh, she looks crap ass. But oh, her eyeballs are worrying me. The theories around the eyeballs. She's having mini strokes. She's got water retention. She's got a spinal fluid leak or something like that. It's similar to, oh, somebody explained it to me and they were very smart about it. Basically, your body mimics a spinal leak, spinal fluid leak, and it swells up in your face and it's very bad for you. Her eye fat is just taking over. She's basically imploding like a pizza dough resting on the bench or the filters are just fucked and it can't work her face anymore. We just did a few simple things. It's burnt on the bottom end. They so always here are some little living room decorations. We have some lanterns. This one sings. <laughs> Not going to lie, I want those flashy disco ones on the bottom. I think they are an absolute trip. I love those. Where did she get those? Oh, she probably got them from Timu. That's better than Salah singing. Eat her up. I'll put her on 1.5 and okay, see how we Okay, put the light on. <laughs> we have some manwa salwa. It's like a nougat with pistachio. That'd be yummy. Arabic treat. And some mamu covered in white chocolate. There's none left. biscuits. The Holy Quran. And we just put these up. Is like, it a birthday party? That's what it looks like. A birthday party. <laughs> All right. We also found these twinkly lights, Ramadan lights that we had from. I bet you she paid three bucks for those banners, that bannering. I mean, 50 bucks, two bucks. She's made an effort, right? Last year, if you remember. And Salah was able to fix them because they weren't working. So, yay. So going out the day before Ramadan starts is probably not a good idea or you're going to encounter. Where were they going? She doesn't tell us we're on our way to the poo shop. We're getting stuff for the cat. The hamster needs new food. We're getting more groceries because I ate the, the food bank groceries already. We're going to click and collect my new outfit. Where are they going? For what? A lot of traffic jams this one wasn't too too bad but it was still right wouldn't i who said it who said it who said it hi abby hello abby i love you abby um who hi jamie all the people that have come in i'm sorry i didn't see you hi thunder rain who said she'd off center the banners i was thinking why wouldn't you do it from room to room instead of just in the corner like that I'm not an OCD person like that, but symmetry is important because it, it's a long, skinny room. I'm sure it would fit from one side to another. Or you could just join the two together and just have two, like an entryway. So it goes like that and then that, like cross them over so it fits across the thing. That's just like, ah, we'll just whack it up there. Sala can reach there. Or just stick. I bet Sala chose where they went. Yeah, that's a man's touch. Sorry, guys, but that's a man's touch. Bad enough. <laughs> we were still delayed. Oh, the other brick. No, that's the wind. That's the wind. 
All right, time to prepare iftar. Now, if they're out and about, they're out and about running errands. Well, that is a juicy looking chicken, though. That does look like a good little chicken. Um, if they're out and about, does that mean when the call to prayer went, they ran off to the mosque and went and did their prayers with everybody else? Could she, could they have showed us them going into the mosque and not actually go and film inside? They could just show them walking up and, well, Stala would walk up, Shanta would waddle up. Just going across the road into the mosque, could they not set that up? Because, or does that mean they're just carrying on with their errands and they're not going to do call to prayer? Because they're out and about, right? You can't run home and do your prayers. You've got to do them wherever you are. That's why they have mosques and prayer rooms everywhere, right? And I'm doing this at around 3 p.m. You know, if I was at 6 because I want to make my stock for the rice from scratch. I'm making an Uzi style rice and chicken. So I'm going to start by adding a whole chicken in a pot with some water, onion, bay leaf, and a carrot. And I'm going to let that boil down. And I like to add uh, garlic, onion, celery, carrot. You've got to have the medley of the onion, carrot, and celery for a good base. And I don't use the red ones because I don't like the color it makes the soup go. I like to leave the skin on and use brown onions for the stock. This is fine, but that's how I prefer to do it. And at least she's actually making it from scratch this time. And simmer until I have a nice stock. I she doesn't have enough water in there, but whatever. I can use for the rice. I'm going to top the rice with some toasted almond slivers, and I've just dusted them yeah, in some I, cumin I and a little bit of sea salt, and I'm just oh, going to toast them in the boss. dry pan until they are nice and Hi, toasty. Dex. I'm adding Hi. to a pot some soaked basmati rice. I soaked it for about 30 minutes with some butter and a little bit of oil and also some... Oh, he does have my eyeballs, by the color. way, guys. Thank you. Now I'm adding the broth. Look how nice my chicken broth turned out. It smells amazing, and, you know, I usually use just those, like, bright yellow bouillon cubes. Sorry, my cat's playing with the bag in the background. <laughs> but this looks so much more appetizing, in my opinion. What's that big lump? Right, so is that is butter? Our first iftar. Ramadan coming, yeah. everybody. So. Consensus, my beliefs. She did not make that chicken. She did not make that chicken. Mm-mm. mm It only goes that colour if you've got oils on it or if you've got seasonings on it. Um, She's, nah. And... I have absolutely never, ever slow-cooked chicken or made soup and the chicken, I've, how do you get the, they get a chicken carcass out of the stewing pot without all of the wings falling off, the joints, the bones, every, the skin just basically falls off. And the skin is, all the fat's melted off it, so it's not actually going to go that colour. That's going to be as dry as it'll get out. But how has she got whole intact pieces? Because if that was her stock chicken, there's absolutely no way that's the same chicken. I don't believe it. There's no way. To start off, to drink, we have water, of course. We have it's some no way. Uh, vinto, some chicken noodle soup, which I won't be having. And this is chicken uzi. And it's a flavored rice. You saw how we made it with the chicken stock with some parsley. I, and, I reckon um, it's takeout. Almonds. Hey there, editing. Oh, and how the hell did she chop it up so perfectly? How? Did she get that? How did she get it out of the pot, put it on a cutting board and then chop it up perfectly and then roast it? How? And not burn the shit out of it? No, nah, she didn't. It's it's cut perfect. There's no way she made it. Ariana, None. I just wanted to add, uh, you're probably wondering how I got the chicken to be kind of, you know, well done like this. Well, I did use it in the stock, as you saw. So then it kind of like simmered and boiled. And then I cut it into quarters and seasoned it again, brushed it with a little bit of olive oil and put it into a 400. <laughs> That's so funny. She called the chicken well done. Chicken is either cooked or not cooked. It's either dry or raw. I bet the chicken may be really cooked, but I bet it's dry as all get out because it gets stringy once it's boiled like that and overboiled. And then, oh, no, I bet it, I bet it wasn't that great. The oven uh, for another 20, 25 minutes or so. And it turned out like this. Oh, nice she didn't roasted. cut it. There's no way. That was cut. Was, um, Look at it. Chicken. She's lies. Some feta cheese sambusa. Yeah, why lie? Why just say, and I, I wouldn't, and I would not have been surprised had she said, I didn't have another chicken left over, so we bought one for roasting pieces because a lot of people don't use their chicken carcasses. They don't usually strip the chicken off and keep the chicken. I do. I like to use it for sandwiches and put it in passes and stuff like that because you can put a nice sauce on it and make it because it can be a bit funny, the texture and the smell's a bit weird. But Or you can strip it up and give it to your dog, give it to your cat without all the bones in it. But it's not – I've never, ever – seen anybody roast a chicken after they boiled it not because i've never seen that i've seen 
triple deep frying or I've seen double roasting and I've seen all of that, but I've never seen a boil to stick in it in the oven. Maybe there are plenty of people out there who do do it and maybe it's an entire recipe that I've skipped my entire life, but I've never seen it done. Julia, I'm going to have to pray here. Oh, no, the triangle things look like they've come out of the air fryer or they've come out of the um, oven and they've just been stuck too long. They've got that weird cooked like hard, like you'd tap it and it'd be like cardboard. They don't look like they've been done in a deep fryer or something or an air fryer. They look like they've been overcooked in the oven. I bet they're as dry as all hell. <laughs> I'm going to fast it's forward perfect, that bit. But for me it is. Why is she so low and all the time? Right for the two of us. Mashallah. Yeah, a couple usually has that much seating for two whole people. But that's just, you know, an adequate amount for two people with no big dogs, no kids, no extended family. That's an, just just enough couches for two people, just enough. Not too much, not too little. It's the perfect amount. I'm so grateful for everything Allah has provided us. Hi, Senesee. Hi. No, we're not. That makes me feel weird. I don't like it. I'm not here. I don't like seeing her pray. It not makes me feel odd. It's like it would be like seeing a nun and knowing she's got like a one of those little she's wearing sexy undies underneath. I know it's totally fine, but it makes me feel a little weird. Ball, but we have a ball. So maybe we will come play ball one of these days. Yeah. But even if it was mangled, hey, even guys. if the chicken was completely mangled and you just threw it on top of the the rice and put I'm going on about the chicken. I'm just going on about it just it's infuriating. Why lie? It's the stupidest thing to lie about, and it's so obvious. We know she can't cook for shit. We know how to cook. We've made um, stock a million tea times, and there's just no way. Just say, look, I've taken the boiled chicken and put some rubs of paprika on it. It's all munched up and fucked up. I've recooked it. I've roasted it and put it on top, and it's all mangled. Like that would be more in We would believe that. That would be on brand for food. It's a very windy day, but it's like 20 Hi, degrees Celsius in the right now. Hello. It's very sunny though, so Hi. it still feels pretty warm. <laughs> but yes, that is the, the beach. Look how the water is. That is the um social distancing loungewear set. It's um circa 2020 COVID line. Beautiful colors. Wow. Yeah, it's for, it's she's Instagram ready. I don't know if that's a, like a shipwreck or a ship in the distance. Oh, no, Callie Cat. Oh, she got very defensive about that because I did dip in very briefly into her live and she whipped out her phone and she's got an app on the phone that tells you the direction that you need to pray in. She's got the app. So whoever's saying she's doing it wrong, she's just a bunch of idiots because I've got the app. So she's like, right, all of you idiots. So nobody else knows anything. Oh, oh, dear Lithia, thank you for being a member for three months. Woo, woo, woo. And yes, and good morning, everybody. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's so low. I corrected it in the other, when I edited it. Gosh, she can't even walk properly. Oh, no, it's because I've spent... That's why she looks like weird. Oh, she's so... And she's still carrying the microphone. She looks like those anime ghosts when she does that. You know what I mean? You know, see those? You know those ghosts with the white faces and the black gloves? Like, the... that's what she looks like. Like, does she know how weird she looks? No, she doesn't. She probably thinks she looks awesome. Where's the sway? I want to see the foodie signature sway. There it is. Little sway. There it is. Little sway. Work it, girl. Cover girl. Do your thing. Oh, she's just a sight to be seen. You. <laughs> it's kind of cool looking, though. Oh, shut up, foodie. That is a very cool looking. It kind of looks like an, a really narrow, it looks like a 90s version of a scarab, right, an Egyptian scarab. It's more of like a heroin chic one, though. That is really gnarly. 
Who here would be freaked out seeing that? Would you pick it up? I'd pick it up. She does look like the shadow people. Yes. Oh, I wonder if they bite though, because they do look like they've got scratchy legs and a big mouth on them. Hmm. Is anybody scared of it makes Sal into this cartoon bug? No, he's more of a dung beetle than one of these guys. We need to make, oh, that's a genius idea. Write it down, oh, Cookie. Man. Write this it is down. A Where's the I pen? Sal is a dung beetle. She's a plug and he's a dung beetle. They could be like <laughs> Doesn't mind. that duo on The Lion King. Guys, you know, the two, the Hogwarts and the meerkat. <laughs> All right, so while I'm sitting here, I just wanted to talk to you guys a bit about, you know, what the spirit of Ramadan really is, especially for me. So Ramadan is not about, you know, how fancy of decorations you have or how fancy of dress you have. Um, yeah, that's because you can't afford them. If you were banking 20,000 grand a month, you'd be like, we've got these decorations, we've got solid gold plates, and we're paying 4,000 a month for this fancy apartment during Ramadan, so we're in complete luxury. And she'd have all these fancy outfits and she'd have makeup up the wazoo. It's only because you can't afford it, it's not important. If it was important, if you could afford it, it would be like you'd be slamming it in people's faces. That's who Foodie is. She'd be like, screw you guys. I'm living the best life in the Middle East. I'm doing Ramadan in style. She'd be showing us hotel rooms and the bathroom and the cupboard and the beer fridge, you know. Um, or how big of meals you prepare. He's a dung beetle. Just meant to be a time of spiritual growth, of growing closer to Allah. And it's a time for reflection. Oh, time yeah, for fasting, a probably. Time for and it's a time to be modest. And oh, I like it. I, I wouldn't say I love Allah. them, but I'm not afraid of them. A lot of praying, praying those extra prayers, and just focusing on prayer and your relationship with Allah. That's all that Ramadan. I'm the in-store bug catcher whenever we have huntsmen or spiders or cockroaches or whatever because we will get them because they come through in some of the boxes. And my shop's very close to a pet store, so they like the pet food there. Um, if there's one, it's like, do come get it come save me and i'll come and i'll gather it up and chuck it outside or i'll squish it and put it in the bin depends on what it is really should be about um you know i know we have like a few decorations but we didn't go all out we just kind of again yeah just, it was called somebody looked it up i think it was jericho the of Ramadan really is, and that's really no really bad good. seed looked it up another it was thing called really uh, a time for giving and charity something skeet beetle uh, or something so that's like another that? thing that's very very important it's not a camel spider so. i know but right, guys, i can't wish it was here i hope you enjoyed this vlog there will be more to come and i really appreciate you watching so in the in my ideal world they took the bug home put it in a cage it escaped and laid eggs in salah's ear thank you so much and ramadan kareem to all my brothers and sisters and everyone else thank you for watching have a great day stay blessed ew no Stop sharing because nobody wants to see that sloppy face lunatic. Okay. Oh, she looks bad. And he looks a mess. He looks an absolute mess. I know you can't see him because I'm saving you from his stupid face. But he looks a mess. Okay. So let's do the edited, her edited one. Okay. it's. I think I got it down from 26 minutes of slopping and chewing and stupid Harry talk down to about six minutes, I think. This is the beef stew, and I cut out a lot of the chewing. I just left in the good bits. Oh, I could hear the song already. It sounds amazing. Okay. Go. Okay. Window. Oh, okay, you ready? You ready? Okay, this is the remixed version. Of Salah's song, okay. I hope you can hear it. Let me turn it up a little bit. Oh, you should be able to hear it because I amped the sound. Let me know how, if the volume's okay, guys. You ready? Let's go. Oh, she's so low. Or is it just me? Is that a bit better? Oh, 
Oh, I can't be muted. It can't be muted. Is it? It can't be muted. Oh, it always does this to me. Why? Why? Hang on. Let me figure it out. Why is it doing this? Hang on. We might have to divert for a second. I might have to see if I can upload it to my thing. We'll do the fashion stuff and then we'll go back to this. Because I did ambies like this too. We might just have to wait a second. Just talk amongst yourselves. Just talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> see if I can upload it. Because I don't know why it does that. Whenever I've got sound on it, it doesn't want to do it for me. Okay. It's all right. It'll take you what it shouldn't take too long to upload. They're very, very small. Very, very small files because I didn't have, I was like, nah, they just talk shit all day long. Where is it hiding? There we go. Okay, you, ma'am, go. Okay, next. No. Done. Next. 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 Uh, okay, it'll tell me how long that one should should take. Okay, all right, and then I'll do, and then I'll upload foodies at the same time. It might take it a little bit longer, but um, if I'm doing two, open. I don't know why it does that. I can't ever seem to fix that problem. That's why I normally upload it to my channel. It's just quicker and easier. But it's okay because I've got, um, oh, no. <gasps> does that mean I've done that for the glitters and lasers one too? Oh, it does. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. We can work around it. We can work around it. I just don't want to have to watch the whole thing. Sending good energy to Australia. Oh, we're doing a ride at the minute. Our weather's starting to go so nice. It is, we are doing very well over here. I don't even think I had to have the air con on yesterday. It was so nice. Um, yeah, because it's moving into our, it's move, we're going to have Easter soon. Easter soon. And then that means for us, it goes, it starts to go into our, what do we go into? We go into our autumn and then we go into our spring. And that means cold weather. That means beanies. That means blankies. That means bed socks. And it's not like freezing cold like you guys, but it's cold. But it's cold. Okay. All right. Shouldn't. Oh, my tummy's making sounds. Oh, you know what I did before I got on here? I made that golden, that golden rice, like the golden fried rice. You know that stuff. It was so quick. Okay. All right. I don't. Okay. Yep. Great. 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 Yep. Sure. Oh, no. I don't want it on. I want it off. Done. Next. Sorry, guys. I should have tested it, but I can't really test it. Oh, yes, I can. I've kept for, I keep forgetting. That's why I've done it this way for so long. I just thought I was being too. Got, I got too big for my britches. Oh, that one's going to be a bit longer, but that's all right. So what we'll do in the meantime is we will watch Ambie's video, and by the time that one's finished, we should be able to move into the other ones because they've been uploaded. How is that for a deal? Okay? That way we can watch the other ones edited because I I won't put you through 31 minutes of her whining and of Amber whining, and I won't make you listen to the Howie story because it's stupid, stupid and dumb. This one's only 11 minutes. Okay, it's a good working solution. Got to think on the spot, right? Okay, it's been a while since we've seen Amber with her hair up. Have a minute tonight. Speed her up. Speed her up. Okay, there we go. She looks so different with her hair up like that. Like she looks, ugh, ugh. But anyway, you ready, set, go? Oh, yes, the, I know you guys just talk amongst yourselves. You guys go off on your own tangents. You don't even need me. I am simply a conduit for the chat. Okay, ready, set, go. I'm getting as frizzy as possible because I washed my hair this morning and when it dries natural without straightening it or curling it, whatever it may be, it just looks 
frizzy and not cute. I'm currently in a hair journey for sure. And I really don't want to wear this sweater, but it's 39 degrees outside and raining. But yeah, I'm about to go hang out with my mom. It's been, I'd say it's been about a week since I added any heat to my hair. So that's progress. See how it's just like frizzy? But once it's damaged, it's damaged. You can stop putting heat on it. You've got to get rid of the dead hair. There's no other way to fix your hair other than to chop it. That it's just, it's it's once it's dead, it's dead. It's like the skin. Once your skin, you've got to exfoliate that skin off. You can't rejuvenate the skin. Hair is just like skin. It's done. But she's so insecure about it because that's her clowning, yeah, crowning cute. glory. So I ordered some like frizz she stuff that I've been like adding my hair. Thirty three, I so think she needs now. Actually, I actually think it was delivered today so i might try that and see how frosty this is the thing she looks really old and like a toddler at the same time it depends on what hairdo she's got on she, the one where she wears like it up and then the bottom half down with the big scrunchie in it she looks three and then when she wears it down she that one looks all right on her and then when she does the hair tossed over she looks like a dragged out gin ridden divorcee who lives in a trailer that works like I don't even want to brush my hair while it's like this. The only time I've been brushing, see it's still wet a little bit here. The only time I've been brushing my hair is right before I shower. God. And then while I'm in the shower and I have conditioner in my hair, I don't know if that's a good idea. I think I'm, uh, other than Amber, I'm the only other person on the planet that invested on her hair journey. Does she really think anybody gives a shit other than me about her hair and how like yuck it is? She, she, it's heard, oh my God. Oh my, like, I think I've heard more about her hair in the last couple of vlogs than we've heard about Jade. Something new that I've started. So this is just my natural hair. Yeah, hair. exactly. And I, I agree with that. that. It's the so only that thing like, she can control. Right? That's not. And she gets compliments about. Um, this recently started. So it's very sad. It looks, We're going to take care of it. Like it. We're going to figure it out. But it just, I don't know. My hair is all. Her her hair looks like you know, ladies. If you've had like extensions, or if you're about to get um like extensions laid in your hair before it gets styled and chopped, you know how it's got all the different lengths, so you can like style it and cut it to length. That's what her hair looks like. It looks like unstyled extensions, so they look a bit look a bit unloved. But yeah. And she hasn't added any heat to it. Her hair is definitely taking on her mermaid waist. It's been my favorite thing about myself physically. So just seeing it not uh, look its best makes me really sad. But it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna fix it. Wow. Thank you to everyone who's like DMing me with advice. I I read it all, so I appreciate it a lot. I was so focused on talking about my hair, I forgot to show you guys. I use the diamonds mm. that um, I recently got in my last vlog. There's so mm. many different ways you can do this. Like I was thinking, oh, like, yeah. should I add some here? Like obviously I didn't want to do both. That's just like. You know what my favorite way to do the diamantes on your eyes would be? Not at all. Not at all. Unless I was going to a club, Mardi Gras, a fairy party, a drag show, a 90s throwback party, a children's party. A themed party of some sort, hell a golden globes with diamonds are the theme. Day to day wear around the house go to Walmart. It's not the look. It's not the look. It's not the look. Especially when you don't even do your eyebrows. If you don't do your eyebrows but you do other fancy makeup, you're suspect. You're suspect to me. It tells me you half ass your life. But I wanted to try this for the first time. I think it looks cute. Okay, change of plans. I decided to wear this sweater. It looks a little bit better. I feel like I wear this dress so much, but it's one of my favorite dresses. But yeah, it's freezing outside, so I have to wear a sweater, which is unfortunate. And you know what? Are there are People say when you get older, your hair gets thin. That's natural. There are plenty of ladies out there that are full gray, that are in the 60s and 70s, that have hair for days. And it's simply because they, they either take care of it, they've got good genes, their hair's always been good, their diet's good, they're healthy, whatever. But it doesn't, just because you're getting older doesn't mean there's a whole bunch of reasons why your hair gets bad. And sometimes it's simply because you don't cut it and you don't put the right products in it. And using heat, like she's probably done all the things, but for her, she's also got her health, her diet and her hormones are just completely just not in her favor. And environmental factors. I said this the other day, she's coming out of winter. She's gone from Kentucky to Oklahoma. 
Kentucky is very humid. It's very hot. The seasons were changing. Oh, it was kind of cold when she left. And then she's gone to Oklahoma, which is dry, arid, and it's cold. Her hair is probably brittle because it's got no moisture. She probably didn't moisture correct it with the right products when she moved there, you know, and she's inside all the time, the air con and the heating and it's environmental as well. Fortunate. So I'm currently looking in my full length mirror. I think we look good. Y'all, this Chuck House place literally oh, says she it does outside of the each hand. Not as funny. It's not emo aesthetic. And I did not win. Um, my mom did, and so did her boyfriend, so it's good. Oh, Wait, you know what? I was just not... but you know what, Ghost? If she went and bought herself a don't a plastic diamond choker or a clear plastic choker, that might match the eye gems, and then she'll be like aesthetically pleasing. Can we do a taste test? If you said no, there now. I apologize. We're about Why to have one. So if I'm pronouncing any of these words wrong, I do apologize. But this is Mazapan original. Mazapan. Is Della Rosa. And it's literally just made with like peanuts and sugar. I've always wanted to try one of these. I never had I don't have, like Mazapan. That I can remember. It so tastes bad. You know and I don't like it, it on cakes long. either. I personally love a good taste test. So why not? Here's some ASMR. Okay. So it's super, super crumbly. That's the first thing I'm noticing is it's just like breaking into a bunch of pieces my whole life my auntie had a gray a gray streak right through the front of her hair and i so desperately wanted it i can't wait for my hair to go gray i'll probably dye it for the longest time but i want to be that that lady with full white and gray hair like in a funky up cut or a nice sleek anna winter bob or something, but I can't wait for gray or white hair. Oh my god, it's so I love it. It looks so beautiful. This is here, but you got to look after it when it goes one. white. Oh yeah, that that Marie off. chick. Yeah, she passed Sweet away penis. though um, that last year sense. or the year before. All right, so I'm gonna take a little piece. I don't know. They had gross. I don't like them. Whoa, that texture! It literally just melts in your mouth. That's because it's sugar. Whoa. It's basically sugar, it nut so sugar. I have a massive nut sugar. That even sounds bad. This might be too sweet. Ooh, what like is that? It's my nut chunks. sugar. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty tasty. I like chewy cookies. I like chewy, um, chewy else. chocolate Ooh, chip cookies. I can't even finish a whole one. That's rich. So if you like nuts, you like something super sweet, and you want something to melt in your mouth, I'll try that. Okay, you guys, short story time because I want to show you something that my mom got me today, which was mm. actually super sweet. So my grandma loves like cute things, like small cute things, whether it's like a stuffed animal with like a cute face. Um, she has this like coin purse oh. that has like an adorable cute face on it. That's where Amy gets really it from. So as you guys know, recently she had lung surgery, and me and my mom were going to visit her just to see like if she was doing good, which she is. And thank you guys so much for the well wishes. Mm. It's honestly greatly appreciated. So my mom surprised my grandma with yes. like this cute little <laughs> elephant. Yes. And yeah, I know. I'm I'm forever, forever being stopped and asked for my um my driver's license because they're they're always curious if I'm over or under under 18, you know. The gray hair would definitely stop that, that's for sure. Yeah, big problem. The elephant <laughs> had also like a little baby that went with it. And for some reason I just thought the same reason goes that she doesn't know how to pronounce marzipan because she's for fatty, I, I don't know how she's gone a whole life and not doesn't know what marzipan is because it comes on cake. In the same way that Foodie didn't know how to pronounce frittata. I mean, the, when you don't cook for yourself, you're just eating what's put on a plate and you're just ordering it by number. That's what happens. It was one of the cutest things I've ever seen. So today when my mom saw me, she was like, I got you something. <laughs> she got me the little freaking elephant look how adorable i don't know why but i just find this to be so cute um because you're, like you're a child that um, called yeah. beanie babies do you guys remember those yeah but wait it's not even the end look who thinks that the new love interest is into these kinds of things because you know how she loves to take on someone else's personality she's taking on the emu 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 the emo aesthetic and now she's into soft plushy toys me feels like this is something that the new girlfriend likes. Look how adorable. There's a little baby that goes with it. Oh, short I'm hair's sorry, the best. But this is no like bad the cutest head. thing I've ever you seen. You can have bad hair. And days. the fact that my mom surprised me with matching ones that she got my grandma based on the fact that I just thought they were so Maybe cute. Maybe a plushie. Like, I had like a tear in my eye. I was like, mom, thank you so much. But isn't that the sweetest little thing? These are adorable. I literally cannot Why do you need it. two okay, though? Guys, so some people have been asking like why 
I was so excited that like I was on H3's podcast for like 2.2 seconds where literally it was just a thumbnail of my TikTok. I honestly think that Alex show can explain it better than me. So she wasn't excited. She was um, clickbaiting to get interest in her channel and big note in herself. That's just, that's just what Amy does. Sometimes you just need to disconnect and enjoy your own company. Ugh. Damn. Yeah. Nah, -uh, a watch next. She's going through something. Yeah. Something they watch it. And then, yeah. I don't think that means that she's no. necessarily. <laughs> You have got to be kidding me. Does that mean like Ethan watches Amber Lynn and she's in his algorithm? No, that means Ethan watches in um story. He probably he's probably looking for people to talk about, things to talk about, problematic things, people, things that people talk about. That's why Amber probably came up on the next watch. It's probably like a theme of people that he's watching. He's never really, they don't, I'm assuming they don't really sit down and talk about people that they admire and I think are doing great things in the world. They're usually shit talking people and Amber would be someone worth shit talking. But that's hilarious. She was like the watch next video in the H3 podcast. I think that might expose Ethan. I think he's an Amberlyn Reed viewer because otherwise, why would they recommend that? Hmm? Because disasters. And on TikTok, I can't even begin to imagine, like, does H3 know me? If you know, hello. Like, I'm just obsessed with the H3 podcast, you guys. Girl, he definitely does. All these bigger YouTubers do. Shane, new Amber. So that's why it excites me. I probably type in long cow and see what pops podcast. up. Watch them for years. It just, I don't know. It just makes me happy. I don't know. It's like a fangirling type of thing. And I don't fangirl. I'm not really like a fangirl type of girly pop. That's genuinely why it made me happy. Because so many people are like, I don't get it. So, yeah. I just realized I had lipstick on my forehead this whole clip. I know. He Don't looks know like a happens. he literally also, looks like a teenager. That, that I want to like talk about is like people are saying that like my hair falling out is due to lack of estrogen and I should be on it. It's not optional. Well, that's not true. For my case, they actually did not want me on estrogen, but they had me on it. It's this whole thing. If you want to go figure all that out, I have vlogs about it. Um, mm. they actually prescribed me estrogen when they shouldn't have because with the type of cancer that I had and how far along you didn't my have cancer, cancer was, you had pre-cancer, but here. okay. What you guys think, my lack of estrogen, which that's not the problem. I'm losing my hair down here from all of the frying. Like, it just seems like from here down, my hair just is not happy with all the heat that I've been using. It's literally just it's dry. Happening. Your hair is just and dry. It's literally around the exact same time where I was like constantly using heat in my hair. Okay, guys, so I do want to end this vlog, but before I end it, I want to say I weighed myself today and I reached another <gasps> low weight this year. I, was I know, I did the maths. And it, if she keeps losing weight at this rate, she would lose the 250 pounds that she needs to lose to get to a healthy weight. In 2.4 years, which is totally fine if you want to lose it slow and steady. But who thinks Amby can stay on a weight loss journey for 2.4 years? Not me. I doubt she can stay on it for 2.4 weeks. Six, and it just makes me so happy because honestly, it's just I called breakage. It's not that big of a deal, right? Time ever really like true like just my name on the lease. I need to care of everything Hi. by myself, whether that be bills or chores or this or that. Like. I literally have the freedom to do whatever I want. And that, honestly, I had a, a really big fear. I envisioned myself actually gaining a lot of weight moving here. Um, and that's me being 100% honest. Because back when I would binge eat, um, 2019 was the worst. Minus like a year in high school where it was so bad. Uh, that's when I reached 420 pounds at the age of 16. I don't binge anymore. That's something that I haven't done in a very, very long time. But like my binging or like me massively overeating, like that would happen like in private. I never wanted to do that around people. So me being in my home by myself constantly, especially after like going through a heartbreak, like I was truly hurting. Like I was turning to alcohol for a minute. Thankfully, I'm totally not doing that anymore. Um, I I'm, I'm going to allow myself to be an adult and to drink because I do have it under control. And so far this year, I have only drank when my friends were visiting me. But yeah, long story short, I was spiraling in my own little way. My That's not true. Thing. That's not true. Obviously, I'm sure she got, she got drunk. After her friends came, she had those bomby, glowy pop bomb things. Show you guys that. Yes, I had a few breakdowns on camera. You guys saw me cry. I talked a little bit about how I was feeling, but there was just a lot happening that I didn't even share with you guys. Just pain and regret and just deep, deep, deep heartbreak. And there were times where I yes. felt super lonely and defeated. And I knew that feeling. Yeah, but she's like, oh, I had the cancer. She didn't actually have the cancer, did she? My understanding was is that she was in. She had pre-cancerous cells.
cells that were not cancerous, but it was decided that she had to have a hysterectomy because of all the other issues that were going on. But she didn't actually have the cancer. So I don't like it the way she talks like that because she makes it seem like she's a cancer survivor. Healing all of those ways, the only thing that would make me feel better was food. So it was just like a recipe for disaster, true disaster, because any sort of problems that I face in life, I turn to food. I've always done that since I was just a little girl. But that recipe for disaster, I threw it away. And since living on my own, I've actually lost weight. That is something hands down, I never in a million years thought would happen. And it's like, I keep proving myself wrong and it feels good. Anyways, I do want to end this vlog. I hope that you guys did enjoy it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Okay. So yeah, so she weighed herself. So she was 502, I believe. And now she's 498. So she lost 3.4 kilos, 3.4 kilos, 3.4 pounds in nine days, nine days nine whole days but she's not overeating she's not overeating at all so she's losing not even four not even two pounds a week and she's she was 500 something pounds but she's not overeating she should be if she's eating a normal healthy diet below what she should be she should be losing at least 10 pounds a week at least but nah she's doing fine okay let's go let's go check on let's just see if we're all ready no, I think they're ready to go. Yay. Okay, so let's do foodie. Okay. Ah, yay. Yay. Okay. So it's all ready to go, guys. See, didn't take long. Didn't take long. Okay. This is it. This is the beef stew. Beef stew with food here. I bet she's hating all this cooking that she has to do. Okay. Right, this time you will be able to hear the beautiful dulcet tones of Sala. You ready? Go. She's under. She's two pounds under 500. <laughs> Welcome back, welcome back. I have a very special Ithgar, but I have to say this all over again because I realized, you know, I started eating and everything. I said this fella, I started eating, and I wasn't recording, so. <laughs> all right, I have some little Ramadan lanterns. Julia makes a cameo appearance. Um, beef stew, homemade beef stew. The beef is very tender. I tried it. It's a little liquidy, but it's been cooking in the oven for two and a half hours. I didn't, it wasn't ready on time for Magdalene when I was supposed to, to you know, um, stop the fasting, break the fast. Does, who else cooks their stews in the oven? I mean, I know you're allowed to do that. That's totally right. And she has got the, she's got a pot for that, right? But don't you normally do, who does this? I normally do my stews on the slow cooker or on the stove on a simmer because I don't like getting heavy hot pots out of the oven in case I drop it or spill it on myself. I like to be able to take the lid off and then just ladle it into the pot or into the bowl. It's just a safety thing for me. Or I like to use slow cooker. Put everything in there, turn it on, walk away, come back a couple of hours later, and it's ready. It's ready to go. Uh, so I had a day to And it will not milk, burn. And I um, prayed my grub, and then I'll be doing this. It was in the oven for like two and a half hours, maybe a bit more. Um, so, yeah, mm. and now I have, we have to have bread and butter with stew. So this is bread and butter with a piece no. of Gouda cheese and some grape leaves. Now I'm going to make grape leaves, but um, I found a can way back in the cupboard. I'm going to finish this first. And I'm trying this new drink, Candy Can, Rocket Ice Lolly flavor. Now, I love Rocket Ice Lollies, but sparkling, it has zero sugar. It's a sparkling drink. It's supposed to taste like mm -hmm. Rocket Ice Lolly. So you got to have the right pot for that, though, right, Kelly? I mean, Sage. It's not bad, but I don't think I would buy them again. It, I can taste the The I'm just... Uh, for me, things that like that that come in cancer, they're probably good. They're probably cheap. They're pro they may taste great. But the texture of things that just sort of sit in their own juices in a can, like a hot dog or, I don't know, sardines, any kind of meaty product, I just don't I just don't know how good a can, because I feel like the Dalmatis would take on the flavour of the tin. I just, I just, I don't trust it. I think it would taste tinny. 
It's weird that she bitches about the ta the tinny taste, the static taste of her fake sugar in her drinks, but she loves the idea of a tin Dalmatis. It just, ah, oh, nah, and it does look like a poop. Like, oh. Fake sugar way too much, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I fast forward. This is just all hamster talk, but I just want to just, just watch four bits of bread. Okay, Canadians. Australians, I already know the answer to this one. Who puts a slice of cheese with the bread? We 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 eat bread like we'll have like a couple of slices of bread or dipping bread, but you don't put cheese on it and you don't dunk that in the thing. You butter your bread and you pull a bit of your bread off and you soak up the sauce or you put a bit of your stew on the bread and then you eat it. You don't have a cheese sandwich on the side unless it's a toasted cheese sandwich and you're having it with tomato soup. Who eats this? with a beef stew, cheese with beef stew. I don't think that's intended. I think that's a foodie thing, not a Canadian thing. Yeah, you gotta have the right pot. Yeah, mm-hmm. Oh God, could you imagine, would you expect him to be a good singer though? Well, lifts up the couch, like Hulk Hogan. He says, you look underneath. He's holding the couch up. I look underneath. Howie, and I don't know where he got this from. We're sleeping on top of an, a new nest made. Ew, poop. Ugh. But the nest was made of like tissues and bottle caps and whatever he could mm. find. I built the furniture, huh? And he's just chilling there. Oh, is that green mold? Ew. Yuck. Never mind that he almost gave me a heart attack. I said, okay, now's our chance. I'll hold the couch, you squeeze under because he's obviously more capable. Hold up. How is Mariam, foodie beauty, AKA foodie beauty, animal abuser, how is she going to hold up one of those couches? She's just come off two months of sciatic issues, lower back problems, massive injections, can barely walk, can hardly stand, can't stand up to cook. How is she lifting these giant ass couches? How? It makes me feel like this story may not be true or the dodgy back was a lie. Capable physically. And the hamster didn't run away. On the bottom of the bread, so I'm, 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 I'm because, blind. I can't tell. He never grew up in a household that had pets. Um, and he was always like, a, like, not afraid, but like squeamish to hold a rodent. That is an excellent question, Lisa. What is the hamster doing out with the cat? Perhaps the hamster likes it better under the couch because the cat can't get there. Maybe he's running away from the cat. Yeah, exactly. You're lucky that the hamster wasn't um, eaten alive by that Julia, that rogue witch Julia. She's a she's a nut. That one. I feel like she probably hangs off the curtain. She lies. How does she get out of bed? I can answer that question for you, Dax. She rolls. This is how fatties get out of bed. We like, well, form a fatty. Well, I'm a small fat, but I don't need to do this anymore. I can bounce out of bed now. But you lie, you toss yourself onto your side, and then you throw your shoulder over and your leg over, and then you kind of roll out of the bed until one of your feet hits ground. And then sometimes, depending on how high the bed is, you'll land on your knees or you'll land on your hands, and then you push yourself up off the side of the bed. That's how you. That's how she gets out of bed. She rolls. She tips herself. She uses gravity and physics to launch herself out of bed. My good gosh, hello. Right-hand side of the screen. Oh, is it? Oh, did I miss the bread? Do I need to go no. back? Let me have a look. That's Tell me specifically where I need to look because my eye, eyesight's really bad. Where do I need to look? Oh, it's, is it the bread? Do I need to see the bread? Let me have a look. 
the right side. Oh. Has she eaten the mould? Oh, it could be a little bit of um, overcooked flour that's stuck to the outside of the crust. I know. That's what I thought too, Whitlash. It, it's actually like a time-lapse video. It's aesthetically pleasing. That was so a pretty good stew. I was craving beef stew, sorry. I feel like there's a lot of comfort foods that, like, from back home that I still crave a lot. God, she says the dumbest thing sometimes. Why would you just... If I moved, say, the Caribbean, next week I'm getting on a plane, I'm moving to the Caribbean, and I've got to start eating local food, does that mean I'm not going to want Vegemite on toast? Does that mean I'm not going to want my, like, wheat bix? or risoles or a sausage on a piece of bread or like the food that I'm used to at home. No, just because I've moved to another country doesn't mean that everything about me naturally just acclimatizes to the culture. I'm Australian. I'm going to want the foods that I grew up on as well as eating the new foods that are being introduced to me in my new home country. She is not Middle Eastern. She is not Arabic. She is not Kuwaiti. She is a, Cana a European Canadian spending a bit of time in the Middle East. She's not Middle Eastern by any measure. Of course, she's still going to want to eat all the foods that she grew up eating. That's because you have your own culture. Idiot. That'd be like, okay, Sala moves to Canada and all of a sudden all he wants is poutine and pogies. None of this rice and bloody... Um, what is that stuff? Shawarma doesn't want any of that anymore because he's now in Canada. Doesn't want any Middle Eastern food anymore. He's living in a new country. Salah liked it, but he was like stupid. He's never had this. Beef <laughs> stew is super it. easy. It is super easy. And I like to put red wine in my stew. And uh, sandwich. And he's like, Vegemite's the best, Callie. Like, Don't knock it till you've tried it. I'm like, babe, just try it. This is how we eat it in Canada. Anyway. So oh, I did want to point that out too. Thank you for bringing that up. Who said that? Okie doll. And let's go, let's look at the size of the bowl. Let's look at this. And she said she'd already eaten some. That, that is, okay, so you're at an Italian restaurant or you're at an, a, a, an Italian family's home or even in your own home. You put all of the pasta in the big bowl and everybody puts their plates around. You've got your crusty bread and you've got your salad. And what do you do? You get your as much as you want out and you put it on your plate. That's that's a serving platter. That's family style eating. This is a regular size plate for a change, and she's actually using cutlery. But that is a large salad bowl or a serving bowl that you put everything in. That's a one pot serving bowl. But she just eats out of it. I think she makes it thinks makes it look like the serving portion is smaller, and that's going to trick us into thinking she's eating less. But she ate two cheese sandwiches on white, four pieces of white bread and a massive portion of beef stew and three dolmatis. Oh, yeah, she's well under eating. <laughs> I bet you this is like her third meal, though. I bet this is like round three. I don't think this is the first thing she's eaten today. That was so uh, I was craving beef stew. I was craving beef stew, sorry. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I feel like there's a lot of comfort foods that, like from back home that I still crave a lot. Mm. Salah liked it, but he was like, he's never had this. <laughs> so he looks at it. And there's meat. Does anybody think that so if, if you can hear Julia's in a monologue, the cat's in a monologue when she's running around and she's got all she's doing is bouncing from furniture to curtain to what she's going, parkour, parkour, get away from me, monster beast, parkour. I just imagine that's all Julia's thinking in her brain. Give me biscuits. Parkour. She's nuts. I love nutty cats, though. I love high-tension cats. Yeah, right? And sandwich. And he's like, she's still hungry, yeah. The rice? <laughs> I'm like, babe, just try it. This is how we eat it in Canada. Don't, don't anyway, say that. So this is day two iftar. Um, I need. However many days to go. Like, gloves as I can, but like it's gonna be repetitive, right? But yeah, I know I live in this jailbab. <laughs> it's so cozy, and I don't have to worry. Get out of here. 
See, no, don't don't tell people to get out of here. This was the viewer's choice. I did the poll the other day. I think it was like 81% of people said this is the outfit of choice for foodie. Now, how do we get this to her? Can we get a seamstress and make it up? Do you think she'd wear it? I mean, I'd be willing to throw in some, some like modesty covers for the arm and the hijab. I'd buy her a set to match. I think this color would be beautiful with the dash red and she could do her um, horrible red. I was almost going to say whore red, but that's a bit. It's Ramadan. Let's be nice. Her big red lip and her big black mascara on with, with this and an eyeliner and a big villain eyebrows. I think this would soften her look quite nicely. I think it would be, oh, and Salah, oh, my God, he'd be he'd be all over it. He'd be like, white on rice. <laughs> the first like colony followed me from the villa. I don't have to worry about, you know, hijab and anything else. Thank you very much. Being covered. Oh, did she rant on her life? Because I, I honestly, I don't watch her lives because it's just stupid. It's just her talking about food, saying hello to everyone, bitching and moaning. But was it good, was it? It was a bit good. I might have to go and have a look and maybe edit it down. But her lives, I her lives just yeah, suck. Like the sleeves are perfect; they're not dangly, and the material is nice and stretchy. I love it. I need to get more. Oh, she loves stretchy. And one of these was uh, twenty. They're probably the Islamic equivalent of grey sweatpants, stretchy fabric. She's probably like, "Yep, I can let." everything roam free everything can dingle and dangle and shake itself into the right spot in a stretchy fabric 25 bucks uh, 20 25 dollars with delivery oh of course she's gonna sue Probably. ffg with what so not bad with your water bottles um, with your cans of dalmatis so short you don't have very, the resources like, to sue anyone so yeah gotta get it hemmed <laughs> anyway um I just like to clarify that foodie. Yes, foodie is short. Foodie is five one, and she's petite, and she could probably be buying petite buyers in a five XL and a six XL. But the reason that everything drags on the ground is because you are five one and a five or a six XL. They think as we get fatter, we also get taller, which is absolutely not true. We will stay the same height. We just need a little bit more fabric to cover the exterior. But they probably think she's at least six foot. Or a five seven or a five nine, hence all the extra inches. It's not because you're short; it's because you're mega mega fat. That's just how clothing works for everybody. One thing I do want to improve is slowing down and like trying not to. I know like, bread so or much, pink. Because like by the time iftar comes around, oh, I'm so hungry. Because I'm not, you know, I'm used to eating a huge amount of food, right? So, <laughs> but um, see now, if you eat a huge meal like this, then you're sluggish after. You know, I get it. So what She's eating exactly the same or almost, almost exactly the same as she normally did. Sleeping until 2 p.m., which is considered her sleep fasting time, and then just waking up and eating until she goes to bed. How was her, her diet is Ramadan. She's on the Ramadan diet. That's how she normally lives. She's just delayed by a few more hours so she has to learn a little bit of discipline if she's following the rules but she's she's always eating like that fasted restricted because she's being good and then she just eats until she goes to sleep drops off at a night time sounds like ramadan to me. a dietitian on tiktok and they're like now Hi, these are the foods you should eat skinny. as a dietitian for no bread no sambusa no fried foods no fatty no greasy meats no rice. I'm like, how you're talking to people in the Middle East here. <laughs> like, those are all staple foods for Ramadan. What are you talking yeah, about? They were also staple foods for foodie when she lived in Canada. We remember the paneer arc, all the pita breads, all the buttered chickens, all the she would get he, lots of uh foods that were like lentil soups and Indian foods. She was constantly ordering those all the time. She's acting like, oh, I only eat this way now that I'm in the Middle East. No, you ate like that when you're in Canada as well. So it's not Middle Eastern people. It's all people. All people like carbs. All people like fats. All people like deep fried crunchy food. It's not a Middle Eastern thing. It is an everybody thing. All right. Um, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>
Yeah, I had to. I put it in there again because I just had to hear it twice. That thing, he's a. It's an absolute banger, right? Absolute banger. Okay, so now we've done that one. So now we can. What we're going to watch is um foodie not foodie ambies questions but i've got it down to like i don't know what did i get it down to you got it down to eight minutes it is seven minutes and 52 seconds i cut out so much bullshit because nobody wants to hear her whining about all her nonsense oh all the important questions asking all the point and it's the weird thing is because we only found out about the diamonds like yesterday but she's already got a question in a QA and a about it. People work fast, don't they? Okay. Share video. Share video. Oh, see, that's how you sing off pitch. If you're going to sing off pitch, so I'll do it with flair. Okay. Ready, steady, go. The idea to start wearing diamonds for your makeup. Speaking of, today I decided to do... Yeah, who's responsible for this monstrosity? Who gave her the inspo as a 33-year-old woman who just sits around her house and goes to Walmart for a living to wear diamonds on her eyeballs? I mean, do what you want. Two here and then one here on each side. I'm just, like, obsessed. Honestly, I didn't get the idea from anywhere. I just remember I was doing my makeup. This was a couple weeks ago, and I was like... How can I switch this up? Because the only way I ever switch up. That's a lie because it is a big trend. I've been doing it on the walk catwalks. They've been doing it in the K-pops. They've been doing it on the TikToks. They've, it's all over the place. If she watches the TikToks, she's seen someone else doing this. That's an absolute lie. She did get inspired by somebody else. My makeup is like the length or the thickness of my winged eyeliner. And I was like, I want to do something different. Mm -hmm. I'm not really an eyeshadow girly. Hey, I have eyeshadows. Serious. But it's just, it's never really been my thing. And then I like to wear glitter in the corner. We know, of honey. We know about the glitter. Today, though. So that's like another thing that I do. And um, I actually recently started that. Just Is anybody else extremely distracted by her neon green? I love the neon green color, actually. I do like it. But how the neon green is sitting up against the olive green. I know. I know we don't have to look perfect all the time. But it is really, really bugging me. I hate it. I wouldn't be able to wear that shade of green while I had that color of nails. I'd just be wearing black and pinks and electric blue, like orange, like anything contrasty or just plain colored. I could not wear those two shades of green together. I couldn't do it. And then she's got this burgundy lipstick on with no lip liner again. Oh, look for the center tooth, guys. We are on the lookout for the center tooth. We can see it. We've got the Tom Cruise tooth happening. Like a few months ago. So I was like, look, see, try and unsee it now. Look, try and unsee it. Diamonds. I personally love it because I Senator think it's beautiful, but not only Senator that, but like you can do it however you want. So it's always going to be a different look because honestly, I'm never going to stop my winged eyeliner. I feel like it suits me. It's literally me. You guys love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, Have you night, considered you cutting your oh, hair shorter? The eighth of the uh, eight. Cover? So, That's, yes, yeah, eight to but the not eight. the way that some of you suggest. Some of you are like, go up to here to your shoulder. Never going to happen. But as I sit here, you guys don't even know it. But as I sit Never going to happen. I would never want a haircut that actually flatters me and is age appropriate. I would never want that. I'd never want my hair to actually look good. I just want it to be long. I want to be a mermaid. I sit here, my hair is actually quite shorter than it was. Oh, really my goodness. While we're talking about hair, because she's on a hair kick, I will get into, I will show you some of my other inspo ideas that I've got for her hair. I think I put them in my Canva account. Let me see if I can find them because I've got one in here and it's got the waves and it's got the hair. Let me see. Let me see. It's so pretty. I would love to have my hair like this, to be honest, but I don't think I'll ever have long hair again like that. Where's the other one? No, is that the one? Is this a couple? Did I do more than one? No. Yes, that is the one I want. Now, how am I going to share it? Hang on. Let me see. I'll just upload it. Here we go. Da, 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 da. I should have done this. I didn't even think to do it. Okay. Okay. Open. It's ready to go. Okay. It's quick. Okay. Oh, 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 oh.
Okay, radio. Can you see it? This is what I would like Amber to have done to her hair. Some waves, some blonde money pieces, a shadow root to the nips. I think this would look really good on her. I think it would be, and it'd be easy. It would just be a matter, and it wouldn't even be too much upkeep for the roots. She would just have to get her mid her mid shafts done, you know, every probably 12 to 13 weeks just to keep the colour up. But I think that would be really cute. And if she wanted to do some colour on the bottom, she could totally do that. Or she could do a darker shade for winter and then let it just do a demi. This would be an easy upkeep for her and I think it would flatter her. I think that would look really good on her and it wouldn't be so boring and plain. She wouldn't be a plain Jane. Okay, that was my thing. <laughs> I, I do sit around and think about Amber's hair. Yes, I do. I'm a bit weird like that. Okay. Okay. Go. Go. Two hours ago. So I cut my own hair and it already feels oh, yes. so much better. Not only that, but I haven't used she could do a chestnut on my hair. Color. I also said dry. goodbye, Tresemme, and I have moved on to what a different shampoo and conditioner. And I just, I notice already mm -hmm. how much better my hair Oh, my looks. gosh. <laughs> so here I am showing you. I remember you lying on my hair, hair to put Angela. From my last vlog. And then I'm showing you my hair today where, no, it's not perfect, but it just looks and feels so much healthier. I am very glad. Kitchen scissors. Kitchen scissors kitchen scissors and you can see that it's not cut evenly because she's over directed the back it's longer at the front and it's probably shorter at the back but it does look better it's being cut it's going to be healthier but it's still I still feel like she could take more length off it but what about the split ends what about all the frizzy bits up the top here they needed trim like you you can see all the breakage she's got on the top too just cutting off those bottom end bits is not going to make your health healthier it absolutely I isn't it's Take a pair of kitchen scissors and just chop, 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 yeah, chop. Perfect. I have, <laughs> that actually goes into the next question. Perfect segue, Amberlynn. Ooh, what? smuggling. Oh, her smuggling actually just made my stomach go like this, like a rock. When she's like that and she's like, I'm about to make an intelligent retort and I'm 100% right and you're just all peasants and assholes. She gives that vibe and it just makes me go, Bleh really happened during the weight loss surgery era Ooh, okay no. i specifically said repeatedly during that whole era i will explain later her hair used to be dead straight she reckons like it couldn't hold a curl i have had hairdressers try i used to use heating tools and it just would never take my hair just would never hold it you know blah 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 i've got thin hair but i've got lots of it and that can be true but now, for some reason, just magically over the last six months, it's managing to hold its shape and hold a curl and hold a wave. It's probably because it's dry as all get out. It does, it's not as flexible. My hair goes straight up in the air when it's short and dry, when I bleach it, because the moisture has been taken out of it. It doesn't have good condition. When it is long and straight and down, I can't put, I can't get volume in it to save my life. It's just, I can brush it straight. And it will dry completely straight. But it holds curl as well when it's dry like this. It's just it's just the different types of hair that you have. The more moisturized your hair is and the thinner it is, the less it is likely to hold our curl. Just just facts. But it has got a little bit of kink in it. It's frizzy. And it's because she's been doing a lot of mermaid waves. You guys will see why I'm upset later. I can't tell you now, but I'll tell I you know. later. Later is here. And I'm just going to do it short and quick and to the point i could easily do a whole story oh, time no. but That's i'm wrong. just not gonna even do that because i'm i'm not gonna put my energy into this that hardcore because i just don't want to i did back then my energy was very much into this back then i was very upset so let's get into it so if you guys remember i came on my youtube oh we're gonna said, speed her up oh i can't get weight loss surgery until i don't binge for a whole year it came out of nowhere. It was confusing. It was weird. It made no sense. But I held on to that and I said, okay, let's do it. Then I um, for the people, myself and the other people who have had weight loss surgery, um, the lead up to in any consultation, they talk to you about active addictions, eating addictions, your 
eating patterns, your eating habits, you talk to a psychologist, you talk to a dietitian, you talk to your, your surgeon, your eating habits are fully addressed. I'm going to talk to you about how long it's been going on, whether you've ever been successful losing weight, what your eating looks like now, or your mental health is. Um, I don't understand how having a long time between her, like the setting the surgery and the actual surgery and not inging in between, a lot of the times they will make you wait 12 months or if they know that it's a 12-month wait and they will be checking in with you and tracking you right up until you have your surgery. So they'll know if you're losing weight and what your blood work looks like and how you're feeling and checking in with you mentally. So it shouldn't have been a big surprise that they would expect her to have a long window of time without having an active eating disorder. So I don't understand that. That seems very strange to me. I had me. an appointment with my dietitian and she said, you're going to come meet the surgeon. Oh, you're an old hippie? Oh, I love and old And this hippies. was before I was even supposed to meet the surgeon. Sorry, I itched right here. So that's why I'm super red and I just now noticed. My skin be sensitive. I have a hippie soul kind of. My best friend has a very hippie soul. I'm too, I don't know, pent up high tension. Like I want to be hippie. But I'm just, I like my mod cons and I like my makeups and I like my hairs and I like my chemicals and I like my my fake sugars. But I would love to live like a naturalist life. But I want to live on the beach in a hammock on a in a shack with my hairsprays and my, my splendor and my makeup and my hairsprays and all that stuff. Like I'm 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 in two, I'm torn in two worlds, you know. East, west, west, east, east, west. You know what I mean? So anyways, I was going to meet the surgeon even before I was supposed to. So long yeah, story short, had to hundreds wait. and hundreds of people were emailing mm -hmm. my surgeon, finding his Instagram and messaging him. They were contacting my surgeon's office through the phone, through messages, any way that people could contact my surgeon. They were finding it and they were doing it. So how did people find out who my surgeon? Okay. So first of all, they, they could have been people, trolls in your chat. It could have been a reactor or one or two reactors. It could have been three or four reactors. We don't know that. More than likely, it was trolls. You cannot blame reactors for the trolls. Each individual person who goes on the internet does whatever they want. We are not responsible unless we actively say to people in our chat, go and harass Amber Lynn's doctor, get in there, mess up her shit. And unless we actually actively do that, we cannot be held responsible for the individual actions of the people in the chat. We just can't. We absolutely can't. We can't. So if there are people doing that to you, you can't put that on, put it on reactors. You can't do that. That's that's not right. Surgeon was a reaction channel. How did that reaction channel find out who my surgeon was? Because I read maybe two sentences of an email that was sent to me by my surgeon's office, this reactor wanted to know so badly who my surgeon was that they faked wanting to get weight loss surgery just so they could get that. Do you have proof of that? Where's the proof? I'd like to know where the proof of this. Is there receipts? Is there receipts that it's a reactor, they did that, they have admitted it? Where is the proof? Or is she just assuming or she's completely making this up? Email back to them to confirm who my weight loss surgeon was. And once Ooh. they confirmed who my weight loss surgeon was, what did they do? You're into older guys, potangelous. They said, this is Amber Lynn's surgeon. This is who he is. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Well, my surgeon was Dr. Oh, Smith. Um, the oh, same I was thinking Byron. Tammy Slayton surgery. I have met him. He is wonderful. He was understanding. So when I met him and we had that meeting, I explained to him everything. He explained to me the type of messages and things that he was receiving. It mm -hmm. was people saying how I binged and I lie, I lie, I lie. You so do. not only was I fighting for myself to get weight loss surgery, but I was fighting against hundreds of people because of a careless reaction channel. Oh, it's I now a, it's now hundreds of people. Hundreds of people were calling the doctor's office and trolling. Hundreds and hundreds. Yep, I'm sure. I was pissed. I was hurt. Because it's like, react to me all day. Go for it. I really don't care at this point. But stop getting in the fucking way of my life. Like, you got in the way of my life. No, you get in the way of your own life. And if that doctor was a professional doctor and really wanted to help you, he would either transfer you over to a colleague or he would ignore what those people are saying and would be focusing on your, your journey and would let his 
Um, admin staff know if it's anything regarding Anne Boleyn, please keep, be sure to follow the privacy protocol that is probably mandatory for medical people. They shouldn't be able to find out information. They wouldn't be able to find out another patient's information. They could ring all day long. But if there's any communications regarding Emberlyn, either delete it and block it or funnel it through me and I will deal with it. That's what a doctor would probably do. But they can't be fucking with her treatment and care plan unless the doctor just didn't want to deal with her or she really didn't want to get the surgery because if she really wanted it to happen and she really wanted it to happen with that surgeon, that would be easy enough. You would just block block the email address of emails and you would block the phone calls and you just wouldn't take the phone calls of anything that has in regards to Amberlynn. You just hang up the phone. So once the surgeon heard about all this and heard my side of the story, that is when things were changed. And he was like, you know what? A year is way too long. He explained to me that they've never been in this type of situation where like someone who was well known gets doxxed and now he's receiving all of these messages and calls and stuff. Like not only like was that not fair to me, but it wasn't fair to them as professionals. Like they had to deal with all of these messages. That's not fair to them. As I speak on this, I also want to thank Zachary Michael because he knew about all of this. I actually told him in private. Um, I didn't give him like the rundown and give him every tiny detail, but he knew who my surgeon was. I went back to try to find the DMs, but I don't know. A lot so she's mad about privacy and yet she's having private conversations with the reactor that reacts to her. That's not safeguarding her privacy on its own. So she's blabbing to Zachary. Who else is she talking to about this shit behind the scenes? They could have been blabbing it to people. Like... You, you, can you have it both ways? Probably not. A lot of DMs were deleted. I don't know if it was because of him or because I had him blocked at one point. But you know what? Good on Zachary for keeping it on the hush hush. That shows integrity. It's a mess. I do be blocked in. I'm not going to lie. But just out of respect, I'm not going to share our DMs because I feel like that's low. What light. did Sage do that's um, awesome? I know reaction channels love to share DMs. It's like their go to. It's like, oh, Amberly just... messaged me. Let me show you. It's like, for real now, come on. But yeah, Zachary Michael knew Mike and he has a word. Hello. And in his reactions, he acted like he had no idea. Uh, and I feel like a lot of people might um, ask this. No, that's not the reason why I didn't end up getting weight loss surgery because I was still going through with it. Like Dr. Smith is so freaking amazing. Like he was so sweet, such a gentleman. He was rooting for me through and through. Like I wish more than anything, if I ever want weight loss surgery again, that he will be the surgeon. Ooh, like, Robert Redford, that's incredible. delicious. I ultimately did not get weight loss surgery because I didn't feel ready. I, I didn't. I genuinely didn't. I didn't feel like I had the support that I needed because me and my ex, my now ex. So it was either she was, the doctor's surgeries were getting harassed and so she couldn't have the surgery or whatever or she wasn't ready. So which is it? Is it both or is it one? Or are you just trying to make us look like the villains, like the, the girl world, other villains that you didn't get it? Which one is it? You weren't ready and you didn't want to wait or because the doctor's offices were getting harassed? Which one? Pick one. We were just going through a lot at the time. And I think she's it was lying super expensive, as like well. $5,000. Like it was just like a lot of different things that were causing. Me oh, to like, like, to want to so the next question kind of goes into what we were just talking about. Is weight loss surgery something you will try again? So right now the answer is no, but will it always be no? I really don't know. But right now that's not like in the cards for me, honestly. So the last question is, what's your ideal sexual fantasy? Tie me up. Yeah, I cut it there because I don't want to fucking know. And on that note, why would the, look. Listen, okay, we're going to go deep with this now. Why would you need to tie Amber or Foodie up for that matter? They are both basically immobile. What's she going to do? Struggle? She's going to fight you off? She can barely walk. You don't need to tie her up. You just be like, just lay there, hun. Just let me do all the work. That's literally how it would go anyway. Why would you need to hinder her movement? She can barely move as it is. But that's all we're going to talk about that for now because bleh, bleh, gross, gross. Okay, so get rid of that one. Get rid of I need to clean up some of these. Okay, so guys, now this is going to be the part of the stream that you're, if you don't want to see glitters and lasers, please dip out now. However, however, I have edited her heavily change the voice and then we've got a cool game to play after that as well a little game that i've i've made up in oh it's an old game but i've made it up that we can play it together it'll be fun i tell you all right let me go into my youtube section here and i'll pull it up okay here we go okay oh my god Okay, she she started talking already. Okay, ready, set, go. This is eight minutes, so but we'll be doing lots of talking with this one. So just bear with us. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so this is glitter and lasers. We're doing a torrid haul. We, I picked a torrid one because it's summery. We're going into spring. We've got to start getting ourselves organized. She's going on a trip to Spain. So this is a haul that she bought for Spain. Now, when you're on holidays, you want to take as little amount of clothes as possible, correct? You want to be able to dress stuff up. You want to be able to wear things super cash. You want to be comfy for those days you're doing lots of walking. But then you also want to have some cute outfits for the days you go to cafes and museums and, and going visiting indoor places and going to those cute restaurants and, you know, stuff like that. You know, you've got to have down and daggy days and then you've got to have some days where you're feeling a bit cute and you're taking nice pictures and you're seeing nice things and you're in basically you're out in public amongst people and you don't want to look like a complete troll. So I've watched this already. So I've already seen this. I've edited it, kept the outfits that I liked that I thought looked good. And for the ones that are shit house, I've added my own suggestions and my own ideas with the plan that we are building a holiday capsule item, um, capsule wardrobe, things that we can mix and match and we can style up for lots of different ways and lots of different wares. So if you're into watching that with me, let's get going, okay? And she, she, I have cut a lot of her out and she will be out of sync. The talking will be out of sync with the footage because I just edited that way. That's just because I cut out the footage and kept her vocals in because you do need to hear a bit of an explanation. So let's uh, go. Today, we're doing everybody's favorite again. We're doing a tour and haul because I love for it. So this first dress, I wouldn't normally get, but it's got like a Rudy. European vibe to it. And I am headed to hold the phone. Rudy, how do you know that I like Kenny Rogers? My favorite song from Kenny Rogers is my favorite song in the whole wide, wide, wide world is Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers' Island in the Stream. That is my favourite Kenny Rogers song and my favourite Dolly Parton song. I love that song. Oh, and Nicola, I changed her voice just for you because I know you hate this lady, but I hope I've changed it enough and then you give me, give me one chance, Nicola. Just give me one chance, please. And I didn't do a count. But I have noted every little cute kick that she does because she does like a cute kick. To Europe in a couple of weeks. Yes, I know I just went to Finland. I, I thought this may be yeah. pretty in Spain. Like her, um, and I like the like yeah, floralness to it. So it's a little bit different for me, but I actually think this is going to look fantastic. Fan fantastic. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the dress. Black and white, classic, easy. You can do it casual. I do actually like her shoes for a change. She normally wears the ugliest fucking shoes, but these ones are good. They're nude. They've got a thick heel because she's got thick legs. You can dress them up. You could wear them casual. They'll go with everything because they're a neutral color. Their skin tone, fantastic. You don't have to color match because they're neutral. Crossover dress, ruffle hem. I mean, I'd love it if I didn't have to see a knee, but she's not shy about a knee, so that's fine. The arms are covered. The boobs look like they're boobing. The waistline's defined. It's not the best color on her, but it's not terrible. It's black and it's white. It's easy wash. You can hand wash it, hang it up, or if you have to go and get the laundry people at the hotel to do it, it's totally fine. It's not going to get ruined. I like it. I have no criticisms other than I don't think the Fitbit goes with everything. Wear it when you're jogging. And then otherwise get a nice bangle band or something like that to add to it if you're wearing it with nicer clothes just saying see that word today it's also i feel like it'll look super luxurious and rich which i like <laughs> i think this is linen but it's linen that doesn't feel like crap okay this is one of two sets that she's bought now personally personally i love matching sets i've got a, i've got some i've got some short sets and then i bought a new black and white one recently because i just love them however the idea usually with these is to have them flowing and big and a little bit oversized and to not look like pajamas separately these could work but they don't the pants are not a good fit they're not wide enough but the trick with linen is you have to be careful because when you wear linen for a bit, it will grow in and get a bit big. Even though it doesn't have stretch in it, it kind of like gets big and roomy. But these pants do not look good. The color is not bad on her. It's lemony color, so it's fine. But 
this 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 does not look good and one thing that i would not pack unless i'm going to somewhere like costa rica belize hawaii somewhere very humid and tropical i would not take linen i would take cotton and maybe viscose or jersey something lightweight and stretchy but i would not take something that i'd have to iron after one wear because i could take it and it will be smooth and folded up in a particular way so it stays non-wrinkled but once it's dirty and i need to wash it what am i going to do then i have to take mold too many changes of clothes i want things that are hand washable and drip dry so i'm very excited about it also it's yellow it's and i love it yellow nice. and i thought this would be like the perfect set for like sightseeing or like a casual day where i just wanted to be very very comfortable but also look like boss. Okay. I'm very frustrated instantly with this. I don't know if you can see on camera, but the yellow in this top is like three shades lighter. Now this, this would anger me if I had a color distortion between a matching set from somewhere like Torrid, where I'm probably paying $50 for the top American and $70 for the bottoms American. I would want them to all have the same shade of color. This is something that I would probably expect from Timu, Sheen, bloody Kmart or something like that. Cheap and cheerful. Torrid is not a cheap and cheerful kind of shop. It is an expensive store or mid, mid range kind of price point. If they are not matching the colors and the stripes are not matching on the sides, I would be very annoyed. I would be extremely annoyed. You should have your color dye batches be correct and matched up at quality control before they pack it in the box. It should be matched. Or than the yellow in the pants. Like they don't match at all. And, it and I'm bummed good. because this would be like the perfect look, but this looks washed it out. Like someone's washed it. Like the, the color dis the color not matching is not the problem here. It is the shape. However, I do like the extended sleeve. I do like the shape of the front. I don't like the back. But this and this are looking close to being the same. So she doesn't look too, she doesn't look too triangular. She looks triangular, but she's looking a little bit more evenly proportioned. But I don't like this. It looks like Jami. 85 times. And this looks bold and bright. It looks like a prison mattress cover. And I like the bold and bright because that is who I am. Now, this is what I chose. Okay. Oh, too quick. I didn't want to hold it there. Okay. So I we stuck with yellow because I want to stick with the client's profile. Okay. Okay, go. Why well, am? Quick pause. Okay. So these are from Sheen. I can't remember. I think it's this is probably like $35. She likes a crop top and she likes a tie-up top. Perfectly fine. She does she's not shy about showing a midriff, so we're happy with that. We have super soft wide leg pants. They will balance out her thighs. They will make her look more balanced. This is an oversized shirt. Again, balance out her hips. Now, we want to be able to dress it up. So I took away the stripes because the stripes get distorted. They will not look good on her bottom half. So for a nighttime look, if I'm on a tropical island or if I'm somewhere in Spain, I've picked a little white bodysuit with a lot of exaggerated details on the shoulders to dress it up, to widen out her shoulders, to balance out the bright color on the bottom. She likes white shoes. She likes matchy matchy. So I would never wear, I don't like mules like this, but I but we know she does. So we'd have the white mules on the bottom, the little bodysuit for a dressed up look. This could be a casual day strolling around the markets, sightseeing, bloody bloody. Or she could even put a little white cami underneath it if she wanted to cover up and not show so much skin. Now, if you wanted to be a little bit more casual, you could do this look with a little cami some flat sneakers and a little baseball cap for something a little bit more, I don't know, rugged. You're going for, I don't know, going to a zoo, going to a theme park or something like that. If you just wanted to wear a t-shirt with these pants, make it a little bit more casual, you could totally do that. And this comes in a bunch of different colors. I just picked yellow because she was going with yellow and I was trying to follow her brief. Hi, girl, Charlotte. Hello. Hi, Katie. Oh, that was another one. Oh, God, I made them too quick. When I was watching it, I felt like it just took forever. Now, this is a jumpsuit. So instead of doing separates, I picked a jumpsuit. Cinched in weight, little straps because it's probably hot. She likes a split, wide leg, easy. Now, this entire look, I feel like is something Anna would wear. Little basic gladiator sandals, 
little cane purse, maybe just like a crossover bag. I wouldn't have a bag like this. I'd do a crossover in a tan. A floppy hat to keep your son away. The yellow would work. She doesn't really wear bras. I feel like this would be wash and wear. Put a little jacket over the top. Easy as. Wear it over swimmers or dress it up for a nighttime. Put white mules on and off you go. Put up do big hoop earrings. You're ready for like cocktails at the bar, you know? Easy wear. Now, this one has no audio, so I'm actually going to talk over the top. Same issue. Looks like jammies. Looks like Christmas pajamas. Doesn't it? Looks like little snowflakes, eye cap design. Red is definitely her signature color. I know she thinks orange is, but it's not showing the pits. I don't know why. But I don't like the cami and I don't like the pants. So I chose this. I chose some really big palazzo pants with a bold, bold print a matching top with extended sleeves. Now, the reason I've done this is because this could go with the yellow top from the previous outfit. This top could go with the yellow pants from the previous outfit. So we've got one full outfit and another full outfit. Basic white tee, you could put that. So we're making lots of outfits with a few pieces. She likes this kind of look from the back, and I just felt like the teal, you could wear that with the pants. Again, a ruffled extended sleeve, easy wash and wear, but you could wear these two basic shirts with shorts, denims, a denim skirt, a white pair of linen pants, whatever bottoms you've got, you could wear these basic tops, tuck them in, or wear them out. I'm trying to think of less things to pack with lots and lots of uses. Easy. This color, I do, right? man, I don't know if I like it or I hate it. I, I'm, it's growing on me, but it's like a purpley brown. Okay. So the purpley brown, okay, look, it's a yes and a no. If I'm going to Spain, I'm not going to be wearing burgundy. I'm assuming she's going in a summertime, I don't, assuming. This colour is a already not for her. This is not in her palette. It is an autumn colour. I don't know why they've done a cheesecloth in this burgundy colour. Unless you've got beautiful dark skin or you are alabaster with ginger hair, I just don't see this color working. So what I've done is up here in the corner, I've gone, these are the colors she could have done in this dress instead that would flatter her. Okay, violet, easy as, that looks beautiful with her blonde hair. A berry color or a cerise and a raspberry. And if she's gonna do brown, it has to be brown, like a bit of chocolate. This weird muted color is not good for, her however the dress itself we like the dress it does fit her it does flatter her it's a good length the shoes work with it however it is not a summer vacation color if this was the red the white electric blue turquoise even a print but this color is not a vacation color it is not a vacation dress and it does have these cute little beads here on the straps. Obviously, they're adjustable. I there is no smocking in the back. So just know if you're larger chested, this might might be an issue. But I do feel like the fabric has okay. a little bit of stretch to it. I like the ruffle. It's very lightweight. It's like a cheesecloth fabric, but like a little bit nicer cheesecloth. Oh, D Rob, I changed the voice. Nicola hates this. Nicola doesn't hate this lady. She doesn't like this lady. But she doesn't like her voice so I changed it to make it more palatable for Nicola and I hope Nicola forgives me <laughs> I just like the fashion and it does have like stretching here at the waist so it is gonna kind of cinch in uh, I don't know if I'm sold on this one I have to try it on and see how it looks maybe it's gonna look fantastic kick, and I will eat my words and be like wow kick, this kicks. brown purple color is the best thing I've ever seen uh because this dress is actually super cute this is the most Texas looking. We've also got to remember, this is what she looks like with no bra on. Imagine the lift and the separation. Her waistline would be way more defined. The boobs would be in a more better placement for the actual garments if she actually wear good bras. This entire haul. We've got... I like those sandals. I think they're good shorts. Too. They're not those. that short. They're like short hitch. This is probably my preferred length for a short... I love some like Daisy Dukes if I'm going to the pool, right? Because my thighs are going to be out anyway. I might as well like have them full on out. But these are a little bit longer. They're going to get... I do like the top. I'm not going to lie. I think that top would be really nice with like a bohemian skirt. I have picked some bottoms, alternate bottoms other than these denim shirts. But I do like the top. I think the top is actually flattering on her. Give me enough coverage here at the thigh for chiefing. 
also will help them stay down. I like the destruction on Rudy. Are you asking me my favorite Michael Jackson, Michael Jar or Jackson song? Um, my favorite Michael Jackson song would have to be The Way You Make Me Feel or Man in the Mirror. I like Smooth Criminal as well. Or Murder on the on, oh that dance floor song. I like that one too. Liberian Girls, another favorite. Um, remember the time. I do like a lot of Michael Jackson songs, I'm not gonna lie. These and that the destruction is backed by a patch, so it's not gonna pull apart. With it, I've got this adorable little puff sleeve eye like crop a cute top. top. Not gonna lie. This is like how I love to dress. I love a good crop top. Oh. Um and the one thing that really bothers me is she is strictly, wholly and solely a fashion channel. And she's showing these clothes and she's laying them out and she's putting them on. Not a fucking thing steamed or ironed or pressed or hung up to drop out the creases. Look at how creased that is. She makes money from this and she can't even take the time to steam anything to make it look good. Like, oh, my God, it's the simplest of things. I mean, she could hire an assistant to do it. It's kind of like. It doesn't, doesn't, things are not going to fit the way they should. And things would look a lot nicer if they were steamed. Mm, I just do. <laughs> There's no reason for it. It's love smocked. So bra is optional, which I also love. And I think this is a cute little look. Okay. The shorts, I don't love the way they fit me. They're a little tight on the thigh. And I know that when I sit no down, shit. they're just not going to be as comfortable as I want them to be. Mm-hmm. And they have some gaping in the back. So they're just not the right cut for me. Michael but the Jarre top. Obsessed, literally obsessed. I'm keeping this. The problem is, is that simple. Is that she crop tops are fine if you're wearing a high waist. Pear shapes generally can do a, a a high waist because we've got small, smaller waistlines to hip ratio. So they usually like high waist. That is our best way to wear them because our hips are so wide. Everything just travels upwards anyway, and it gives us a nice longer looking bottom half. Um, but she likes a low rise everything. She thinks high rise pants are a bit mumsy where they're actually quite flattering. Okay, so here's what I've chosen to replace her denims gaucho shorts that she can put a little roll on, wide leg. She likes light denims. I think she should be wearing dark denim. So I've compromised with a dark denim and a little bit of rendering on them because I've got the wider leg that should be better. It's casual. It's a bit, they look like dad shorts, but they actually look kind of cute on, especially when you put like a little cuff on the bottom or some nice jersey workout shorts with like a luxe fashion look, stretchy, easy. I would, I would hundred percent wear these charcoal ones, neutral color. You can wear them just like denims. They'd be cool, easy, easy wash, throw them on and a wide leg. So they're not clinging to anything or a nice pair of wide leg tensile denim pull on jeans. These would be flattering. They're a dark wash, wash and wear, no ironing required, and they would balance her out and they'd be cool and easy. And again, you could just wear a pair of sneakers with them if you want them casual. These would be much more flattering on her than those horrible. She wants Daisy Dukes, but you just, there are just some things you just can't wear. You just can't wear them as much as you want to, as much as you're like proud of your body. Some things just don't look good on you. This this dress like screams summer to me. Mm-hmm. So it's like that linen effect. I have no complaints about this dress. I like this dress. I don't usually like cream or beige. I love white. But I think this shape looks good on her. I like the faux buttons. I think this screams summertime. Um, I This would be great, a great vacation dress. I think it really works. Fabric that's like part linen. That tour had like the same that the yellow set is made of. It's got fun little flowers all over it. Like I really love this print. <laughs> I did. I did correct myself, Nicola, because you do not hate this lady. You dislike her strongly. I tried my best. I tried my best. I just I like you being here, Nicola. But I understand if you got to go because there's yeah, sometimes you just can't take people. I know. I did not love this print when I purchased it. It was like a maybe for me, but now that I'm seeing it up close, it is so cute. It just looks so I love the little though. surprise pops of yellow. I think that'd be so fun to play with accents. And I love the buttons down the front and I love that they're mm-hmm. faux. So it's not going to pull apart. Like it's part of the look, but it's not. And that is a big thing. If you're a busty chick, you don't want buttons that are going to pop. And if you're a hippie girl, with wider hips and a little bit of a tummy, you do not want buttons that are going to pull. So ones that are pre-sewn down and they're just there for pretend, 
They give you a nice long line. It actually makes you look a bit narrower because you've got a line down the center. So instead of the eye falling to the widest part of you, which are your exteriors, the eye actually goes into the center and it makes you look more narrow. It's just an illusion. I'm going to put your later parts at risk. The top is, again, smocked, which we also love she and adjustable. Yeah. Honestly, this was a win for me. And the pockets on the front are so cute. Like, I love these little patchwork pockets. Like, ah, this one's adorable. This outfit was purchased for high school. Oh, hold on to your – okay, guys, hold on to your knickers. Hold on to your knickers. This could be potentially <laughs> the worst outfit I have. We've seen some tragic pants on this woman. But we've yet to see a skirt that's really bad. Hold on to your hold on to your undies, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, this was not purchased for me. This was purchased for my past. I know that it's fine. So this is a little mini skirt. I just think it's cute. I wanted a skirt like this from Old Navy when I was I want to say sixteen or seventeen years old. It did not come in my size because they did not have plus. That's okay. That's why we struggle. With, you struggle with pants. I struggle with the pants too. That's why I love my jumpsuit because it fits. It's got the stretch, and that's why skirts often are better. Um, it's not so much that you don't want to show off your thighs and you don't want to show off your curves. It's just finding something that is a good cut that fits the waist, that fits the butt, that fits the thighs. That's not big in some other area because you're compensating. It's just a struggle for pants when you've got that body type. It really sucks. Or at least plus in stores at that time, and so I bought that from me. Oh, and then sweet. with it, also at that time. Or wrap sweaters. Oh, it, Dohiki, it's not a no. It's a hell fucking no. It's a nah, bra. It's a nah. Absolutely nah. I I know what she was envisioning. I think she was envisioning like a bohemian cheerleader. But no, it's an affront to my eyes. And I don't know if anybody remembers these, but they're just a wraparound sweater. And I was like, well, I said, I'm like glad me, these are coming back because I think they are stupid type. cute. This whole look, Hell like 16, nah. 17 year old me would have been like, Bam. I'm going to be real with you. This just does not fit me right. Uh, I don't care. The I love the fact that she understands that this does not look good. But how do you know that this does not look good, but you think other things look good? This looks about as good as the yellow stripy pants. Oh, my girl. This does not look better than the stripy pants. The stripy pants look as fucked as this skirt does. So how can they both be good? Oh, how can one be bad and the other be good? I don't understand. The top, I think the top makes my boobs look amazing. But this is just, it's pulling. It's mm -hmm. like the line is right at my widest part of my hips. I don't trust it. Okay. So what I did, what I did. Widest part I'm of my feeling... hips. I don't trust Wait. it. Okay. So I went with the client's brief. She's looking for a black, sheerish, see-throughish top with a red skirt, okay? So I picked something in a peplum fabric. It's way more forgiving. It's stretch. I think it's a four-panel skirt, so it's got a bit of flounce. It hits to the knee. It's nice and A-line. And then we've got a little bit more of a mature top, but a V-neck with that sheer detail that can either be tucked in or it'll sit just over the hem of the shirt. This would be a better option for that outfit if we must take this to spain with us where we're fucking wearing this i have no idea but that's what the client wants that's what the client gets i think this would be a better option however this is what i think would be a better option for anna going by anna's taste not my taste by her taste same skirt but a different top she does like to show a tum tum off but i feel like this little bit of red is nice it would go nice with the skirt it's a little bit more summery it's a little bit more like vacationy i think the high-waisted skirt you know there'd be a little bit of an overlap but the other thing is this top would go with the yellow pants if you look there's actually a little bit of yellow in there so if we wanted to make this into an outfit we could wear this with the high-waisted um wide leg pants and have like a little bit of a boho moment both wash and wear as well yeah and this one would be good because she can, it'll it would fit her boobs and she could pin it as well. I think I just, I thought that was cute top. I thought that would be a better outfit for her. This is my favorite of this entire haul. Oh, it is unlike okay. anything I've worn. Okay. 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 So she's talking about science now. Now, 
Anna can't science. The look that she was going for with this combination, there is an actual aesthetic science to it. I'll, I'll let her show you the outfit and then we'll talk it through and we'll show you how it should have been done and why hers doesn't work when others do. Now, this is going to be a very, this is a very difficult look. Either people love it or hate it. It's actually one of my favourite things to do. It can be a little bit tricky until you get the hang of it, but it is a very divisive style type. Um, but I really, really love it. But I know how to do it, so it, it's it's not as crazy. But hold on to your, again, hold on to your panties. Born before, but I'm obsessed with it. So I'm prefacing that before you guys write your comments down below. I don't care if you lo don't like it because I love it. Okay, this this styling type is too advanced for her. She can't even get pants right, so I don't even know why she attempted this. I just think the combo is so good. It is a stripe cinch cami. Super duper cute. I love this beige and like burgundy stripe. Never thought I would say that sentence out of my mouth because beige and burgundy, two colors I don't wear that often. And then we have this teal skirt with a floral print, which like could read old ladyish. And I get that. I like, I hear you if you're saying that. But when you pair it with this top, it's just like the perfect like bohemian girl who does not give a crap. Okay, so what she's trying to do is mixed matched prints. Now, this can be very, very tricky to do, but there is a science and there are rules for this kind of look. You think, oh, there's no rules. No, there are very defined rules or it does not work. Okay, first of all, the size of your print actually has to kind of be similar-ish in size. So if you're doing polka dots and stripes, the size of the dot needs to be very similar to the size of the stripe and the space in between the two prints need to be the same. So the distance between the spots needs to be very similar to the distance between the tops. You need to have at least one, two, or all colours in common. So, for example, I've picked this one. We've got red, a pale blue, and a darker blue. So we have those three main colours in the skirt. The print on the top is much bigger, but the space in between is pretty similar. That's why these two combos, it is eclectic, it is a little quirky, it is a little crazy, but it kind of works. I have got other examples of ones that are better, but I wanted to show you just a couple of ways how this can be done. Okay, so this one is like a little bit of a bohemian. Again, the rule applies. Quite busy. There's not a lot of room between the print, but we have two colors in common. We have black and white in common. The shade of this pink actually matches her lipstick. So she's tying the top to the bottom. We have a neutral bag. That's how it works. And then we've got one more to demonstrate the rules. I actually love this outfit. I've got an outfit similar to this actually, but mine's a teal blues and whites. I might actually show you a picture of that. I might post it on my community post. But we've got, again, we have blacks and whites in common. This has black in it and this has the white in it. That is a contrasting color. And then we've got the red. So the red goes with black and white. Big, bold print and we've got a very busy top. So the prints are balancing each other out. Plus, I don't know, you can always do red, black and white. They've just thrown in a little bit. But we've also tied in the blue with the and the yellow with the skirt. That's how mix and match prints work. Or you could do a, an animal print on the bottom. Or you could do an animal print on the top. The mustardy yellow with the brown goes with the red. The complementary colours are there. It is a little bit tricky to do, but that's how it works. Anna has not followed the rules. She's not followed the rules. And you still need to work with proportions, and she didn't do that. Sometimes what I see in my head doesn't, like, end up what I get on my body. I feel like... The tank's a little bit too long for this skirt. I still like both the pieces, but together they yes, just Nicola they don't really work. Free and clear. Okay, so here's how I would have done it for her. Okay. This skirt has the very similar color palette to this top. Long and lean. A bohemian print with a stripy top, but it's still like a casual bohemian hippie look top. Those two things would have worked together. Easy, easily done. 
But if she wanted to do a hippie look or a bohemian, don't care, whatever, I would have just put her in this little number. I think this would have looked beautiful on her. She could have done it with those beige shoes, wash and wear. She could dress it up, dress it down, put sandals on with it. I just don't try and be clever. She can't do clever dressing. So, yeah, guys, that is everything I got in this tour haul. Honestly, oh, 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 I forgot about two very like important things in this haul. Shoes. I forgot about the shoes. How did I forget about the shoes? One sec. This is our first pair of shoes. Those are dope, right? They're, they are oh, loafers. They are those shoes are not dope. They are a Gucci knockoff. They are an absolute Gucci knockoff. But she says she's going to try wear these with all the clothes that she's bought. I'm like, what outfit? What outfit do those patent leather loafer sneakers go with? Is it the white dress? No. Is it your beige dress with the daisies? No. Is it your failure teal skirt, nano beige and burgundy skirt? shirt no is it your there's not a single outfit that these shoes go with so why did you buy them with this haul i don't understand it this is for like androgynous suit dressing or to go with denims or to go with an all black look something a little bit unisex kind of look or sporty luxe it doesn't go with vacationing in spain wear they're espadrilles and i know that they've got a thick cushy sole um, I'll try these on and you'll see me wearing these with all the stuff I'm trying on. It's all about, no, none of this matches. This doesn't match anything in this haul, guys. I will try That's these right, on doesn't. for you, but uh, they will not be tried on with clothing because it doesn't match. The shoes I am trying everything on with do actually come from Torrid as well. So we'll link those. I love them. I oh, love these. But these are not We've got some comedy gold at the end, though, guys. And there may be singing from me, but just bear with me. There's a couple more. There's like. Less than a minute to go. Not the shoes I'm excited about. I will be obnoxiously wearing them. So just be prepared for that. You're either going to see them all the time or you're going to see me cry. One of the two. I mean. Islands in the stream. <laughs> that is what we are. The only person who should be wearing those boots are Dolly Parton. They're white cowboy boots. And yes, I know this trend is almost gone and I don't care because I wanted a pair of cool cowboy boots forever. And so I'm finally at a point where I think these will actually fit my calf. And if they do. They did not. However, don't be sad, guys. Don't be sad because she did end up getting her cowgirl boots. They're just shorter ones. We saw them in a, a, a more recent haul. They don't fit her either. They, she can, they're shorter and she can. I need, they don't zip up by about that much, but that's fine. I always struggled with, I've got heavy calves too. I struggle with long, heavy boots. I haven't tried any on for years. I might try some on for this winter. I have a trip coming up in January that I will need some knee length boots for, but I'll talk to you about that later. Um, but yeah, white cowboy boots for summer. Sounds awesome. Well, I'm going to be obnoxiously wearing them the rest of the summer. These boots are made for yeah, I'm sorry, but who wears white cowboy boots in summer? Like I get cowboy boots with a nice cute little ditzy dress, but isn't that hot? Don't your feet swim and sweat? They're walking, but that's not what they're going to do because my big calf does not fit in them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. week but well, just have a great day. Great Links day. everything are down below. I'll check you later. And what am I going to say? You guys know it. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's coming. It's coming. Peace. There we go. Oh, Nicola, you made it. You made it, Nicola. Are you okay? Are you okay, Nicola? Oh, yes. Yeah, like soupy shoes. I know you're supposed to wear socks with them, but who wants to wear? I just don't understand. I think boots are for winter, unless they're like Doc Martens or something like that. I just don't think they're a summer shoe, but okay. Now, here's the fun part. I've come up with a little 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 game we can play together, okay? Where is it? Okay, let's do this one. This is the little game that I created. I was just going through, I don't know why I, I did it. My my brain, oh, I thought of something today that I wanted to ask a question. Okay. Oh, before we do this, we'll do the question. Okay. Now, pause, pause, okay. I have a question for everyone. I was having a shower earlier today. I was doing my big shave, doing my arms, doing my, doing my legs, doing my pits, you know, doing the bits. And I was thinking about George Michael. I don't know why. 
And then I was thinking about, I think I was talking, thinking about foodie because I just watched something. And then I was thinking about religion. And then I was thinking about crosses. How would it be that I, if I wore a cross? Because I was thinking about cosplaying. And then I was thinking about, oh, Madonna wore crosses in the 80s. Oh, so did Michael, George Michael. George Michael, he had that song called Faith. He also had that other song, um, Father Figure. Was George Michael rebelling against religion, hiding his gayness? Did I only just realise this today? Was I today old when I realised that a closeted gay man was singing about religion in his lyrics in an ironic way? I will be your father figure. I will be your teacher preacher. And you got to have faith, the faith, the faith. And that was a gender neutral song. He never actually talked about a woman or a man. Am I am I stupid or is he a genius and I've just only this has only just dawned on me and this has been a topic of conversation or is my brain just ADHDing way too much? I don't know. But any thoughts, guys? Thoughts? Thoughts? Oh, with Katie, I'm traumatized beyond words, guys. Oh no! Shouldn't a proud Texan have custom boots? I would think a custom leg deserves a custom boot and the amount of money that she's got, she should be able to spend a couple of thousand dollars on some really good boots that she'll be able to wear for ages. Outside was this. I know it was a public one, but was it? I'm just thinking of those closeted commentary, like he was speaking out without speaking out and he was just wickedly smart and he was outing his frustrations and I was just, I don't know, the thought just dawned on me today. Am I stupid and he's a genius? Or am I just reading into it too much? I don't know. I don't know. I might have to go look it up because I'm thinking maybe George, you know, maybe George Michael is just a lyrical genius. But anyway, here's what we're doing today, guys. I've done a little, we're playing a little game. I, I couldn't think of a name of it. It's just, is it cheap or nah? Designer or cheap and cheerful? That's what we're calling it. I am going to show you two similar-ish items and you've got to tell me which one's the expensive one and which one's the cheap one and then I'm going to tell you how much they cost and then you're going to shit your pants when you find out how much some of these items cost, okay? And be careful because there are some trick ones in there too so don't get too clever. All right, so which one do you think is the expensive one? The one on the left, which is the designer one or the expensive one, the one on the left or the one on the right? What do you reckon? The one on the right in high school, yes, rugby, rugby jerseys were, um, they're a big trend actually coming back for 2024. They are on the trend list for 2024. They are not good for women. They are good for men. Um, who are they good for? Stripes are good for um, pear shapes, but not like this. They make your boobs just disappear even more, right? So the right one is the cheap one or the right one is the expensive one? You have to tell me which one's the expensive one. So right, expensive, left, expensive. Like you have to say which one is designer. Model. The model, okay. You think the model's the expensive one? Oh, your mum washed it wrong and ru ruined it. So you think the one on the right-hand side is expensive? I'll give you a, 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 another 10 seconds to put your vote in. 10, 9, 8. I should have a counter. That's what I'll do next time. I'll write that down. I'll put a little time. We'll put a time counter on it if we do this again, a countdown timer to get your answers in. Okay. All right. Let's go. Okay. So we all, we most of us think the right one is the expensive one. Okay. All right. Let's go. No, you're wrong. It's the cheap one. <laughs> that one, I believe, is from, I can't remember who the designer is, but that is a, nearly $1,000. Nearly $1,000. I can tell the truth. My mum used to make me sets. She, my mum used to sew when I was younger. I had a shirt much like this, a long sleeve one, purple and green. It was a bit brighter green, and a pair of matching purple bike shorts. Loved it. It was one of my favourite. My mum made it for me. And this one, I believe, is an Old Navy. I think this one's from Old Navy, if I recollect. Yeah, I think that one might be Bergdorf or something from Bergdorf's. can't remember. Okay, the so next one. Okay, 
Now, I had to do a little bit of hiding with this one. And if you are clever and you're into designer labels, you might be able to pick it straight away. But which one is the expensive one and which one is the cheap one? And by the way, the slip dresses on a bias cut, do not wear them if you are a heavy set pear shaped girl. These are designed for ladies built like Cherise the Run, broad shoulders, no hips. These are designed for you. Big boobs, no hips. These are your best friends. They'll make you look voluptuous. Left is the expensive. Left is the expensive. I know some people have way too much money. but if, And it's not even the quality of the fabric or the finish or the make. It's That's just too much for that. I don't care. Left is more expensive. Yes, you're right. It's actually Versace. <laughs> but you wait till you see the price. That is a three thousand dollar dress that is a three thousand dollar dress this one is from target it is fifty dollars i i this one is the one i'd want to wear but it's not the one i could afford to wear put it that way this one i couldn't do it because my hips would not work okay next one right right this one's a bit tricky because they're both a bit fugly but which one's the expensive one and which one's a cheap one? And you are going to die when you find out how much the expensive one costs. <laughs> $2 on sale that came up probably. The left, left. Oh, are we talking about the jeans at this point? Okay, it's put. so we're, we're on the jeans. The left is the expensive. Three grand. Oh, you might be, you're in the ballpark. Jesus fucking care, you don't care. The right's the more expensive one. Would anybody wear either of these? You could wear this to the PTA. You could wear this to the show. You could wear this, I know, family gatherings. I don't think these would be too inappropriate, don't you think? The expenses of the left, 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 left. The right's, oh, this one's a bit torn. Okay. Well, one of them is Stella McCarthy and one is a independent designer. five thousand dollars for these ones they are stella mccarthy from her 2024 line spring spring 2024 i just don't get it i just and you know what this is it she's in the i think she's actually ripped this off because this designer and did these in 2022 yeah and that's 137 i thought that and oh my god i went onto her her page she does some hella cute urban stuff there was some oversized oh i might do a little like overview of some of her stuff it's a bit eccentric and it's a bit wild but if you are a curvy lady with thick ass and thick thighs and you want some cute shit she does this lady who designs this stuff does some really good stuff but that is a massive discrepancy and I'm not wearing either of them. Okay. Okay. I hate this print, but oh no, ruined it. Oh, I muffed it. There we go. Just pretend you didn't see it. <laughs> oh no, I didn't hit pause. Let's go back. Go back. You didn't see it. You didn't see it. Go, go. Okay. You didn't see it. I knew it was left as the model had no hips. <laughs> okay. That gets a, a fair giveaway. Fair giveaway. Okay, sorry. Pretension sizes. The prices. Okay, so I'm obsessed with this one. This one is so accessible. What about this one? See, sometimes I think that the really expensive brands have the ugliest prints and yet they charge you a monster. Okay. true that's true that's that yes but then again some of the like a yeezys were oh but they're shoes so they're a bit hard to tell body shape doesn't come into play okay so this one was a trick question they're both cheapies both cheapies this one's 20 dollars from kmart in australia and this one is from old navy that was it's actually $44.95 American and $68 Australian because these are all Australian dollar. So if you're overseas or if you're in America, these are actually going to be cheaper for you. This is good, again, if you have no 
you've got bigger boobs, oh, not so much bigger boobs, but if you're a boyish shape, no hips and not a lot of boobs, this is perfect for you. This is good for pretty much everybody except those people with no hips. Hourglass, pear shapes, apples, this is a good shape for you guys. And it's jersey. Okay. Now this one, this one I think is a bit tricky. And by the way, this is a very on-trend look. Roses and roses prints and appliques are also another trend for um, coming up. Couch print. Yeah, it is a bit couch printy, isn't it? Oh, where did we go? Okay. Now, I know they're not the same colour, but this does come in black, but I just thought the detailing on the top came up a bit nicer on the red one. And red's always nice. It's a good, fun colour. Right, is better. Expensive is the right. You guys for the pro. Oh, no, I didn't show the prices on these ones. Right. Right. Oh, you guys are getting good at this. Yes. Look at the price on these guys. Still, it's still not that expensive for a designer one. Hang on. Let me get rid of that. So $26.95. This one's from Sheen. And this one I think is um Nordstrom's. I can't remember the name of the designer. But yeah, just and this isn't an oh, sorry. $26.95 for the entire outfit for the jumpsuit. This is just $425 just for the top. That doesn't include the pants, by the way. Is that Posh Spice? No, that is a Sheen model and she's being Photoshopped to the hell. Here's another one. Here's another one. I think you guys are probably starting to get the trend. It doesn't have to be cute to be hella expensive. I know. I thought that was a really good price. Yes, they get. They want that really. They want that Kim Kardashian look. This one I think is really cute for vacation wear. But could I afford to buy it for a vacation wear? The left. I think we're getting the theme that the crazier it is, <laughs> the more expensive it is, or it's sheerly body type. Okay, left. You are going to gag when you see the price. Oh my god. 25, my car, my first car didn't even cost that. My first car cost $1,750. And where can you wear that? You can wear that over swimmers. This guy, that's on sale, by the way. I think it was normally $24.95, $16.76. I think that's hella cuter. And you've got more coverage and you don't see your undies. I don't know who were, but outerwear is innerwear is at the minute. Left looks cheap made, but it's probably expensive. Mm -hmm. I know. That's, and that is for the two pieces, not just for the skirt. That's for both. Okay. Now, this one is going to be tough because they look very, very similar. But there is a massive price difference with these ones. I actually like this. I love the color combo with these guys. I like the... I don't know. I don't normally like this color too much, but I like how it's all these are contrasty, complementing colors. This one looks a little, but it's throwing you off. Mm, right. Right's the cheap one or right's the expensive one? Right is the expensive one. Neither. For, oh, no, we're not talking about wearing them. We're just trying to, trying to figure out. It's more just to say like just, Cheap and cheerful is sometimes just as good as designer wear. Designer wear is going to last you that long, but how long are you going to wear it for? And some people just have too much money. Left is cheap. Okay. All right. Hi, Marion. Hello. Okay. The last one was it was 275 for the... Um, but it was not uh, Machino. Machino was the brand. And the other one was from Sheen. It was $14.95. Now, I would be buying the $14.95 one from um, Sheen if I had to buy one. Now, these are trends for 2024. And I'm not saying I'm going to wear any of these. But this is what the fashion world is telling us. To be cool and to be trendy, this is how we've got to style ourselves. This is, this is walkway fashion. This is not wearable fashion. This is high fashion. And this is why I'm not really into high fashion because it's kind of bullshit and you have to be a very specific body type. It's way too expensive and it's not wearable. But this is runway fashion and it just makes me laugh. 
Are you ready to see what's on trend, guys, so you can start buying some of this stuff, okay? All right. And I did houndstooth on purpose. Okay, ladies, our busty ladies out there, are we wearing this? I'm thinking I'd probably need three of these to cover my boobs. But bandos are on trend for 2024 for summer and make them glitzy. It's giving me Alexander McQueen, 1990s Alexander McQueen bejeweled bustier top, but just minimal, minimalist. Like it's literally an, it's an over-exuberant nipple cover. I would be having mass nip slips in this. This is, yeah, I don't know how much this one costs, but it's, it's I believe it's Versace, so probably $7,000 for that one. You're not wearing it? No? Maybe over another top to, you know, like a gun holster. You know, like the gun holster look. You could be a funky mercenary. Okay, next one. Guess what the trend for this one is? <laughs> Wish my space bar thingy went away. That one, this one's all about showing off your ankles. Now, any of the K-pop people would understand that we've been into ankles for years now. Ankles and clavicles, that's our jam. Wrists, necks, it's very Edwardian. Yes, ankles are in for 2024. So show your legs. I do love this colour combo, though. I do love a little bit of lemon and grey. This is a beautiful outfit, though, but you have to have nice legs. But, yep, show your ankles. Um, shorts, but in suits. Now, when we say short suits, we're not talking safari wear. We're talking locks. We're talking dress shirt. Throw on your best mum button down and a pair of matching Bermuda shorts and off you go. Short suits. Who, who's... I don't know. Where, where would you wear this? Would you wear this? To, my test is, is it wearable fashion if I can wear it to the grocery store? If I can go get my groceries and I wouldn't feel embarrassed to wear it, that's wearable fashion. It's a Jami suit. Yep, it's probably $17,000 for that. Okay. The jumpsuit. The jumpsuit. This looks like an Iggy Pop meets a wrestler meets Posh Spice meets runner. Like it's a running suit from the Olympics. This is, I believe this is also Versace. It looks cheap. It looks terribly made. It doesn't look good on her body. I don't understand it. Why would you put that out? That looks horrible. It looks like she's wearing like a diaper with a pair of workout leggings. It's horrible. But jumpsuits. Jumpsuits are in for the season, guys. Black jumpsuits. Get yourself one. And I bought my black jumpsuit before I even knew that. Oh, here's here's another another cool trend. Go back. Full skirts. Full skirts are a trend. Tulle. Tulle. And wear it with your bandeau. So we're mixing and matching our, our trend. Bring full skirts with a tulle with a bandeau. This is this you could wear this to a baby shower, um, bachelorette party, maybe uh, I don't know, a retirement party, oh, there's a, a graduation. There's so many ways you could wear an outfit like this, don't you think? This makes me feel like it's Chanel. That's that that jacket makes it look like a Chanel. It's probably not, but it could be. Yes, I dohickey. That is how I would be wearing them. I'd just be wearing them like mix and matching them with a little white and maybe putting a little cuff on them or a nice little t-shirt, something basic and plain, and just make the skirt do all of it. Oh yes, I think so. No tulle. The tulle. I actually want a big tulle skirt. I love that outfit that just says Sarah Jessica Parker wore on Sex and the City that was in the opener, that little pink tulle skirt with the little white tank top. I love that outfit. I thought that was just iconically cute. I think that was from Betsy Johnson, that one. This one's called Track Star Style. So you remember those parachute track suits that we wore in the 80s? We should never have thrown them away. Eventually they were going to come back, and here they are. They have raised their ugly heads. 
you can put it with your best full skirt, guys, and then put a really big over-exaggerated leather, leather belt with it and you're ready to rock. Imagine if you showed up on a date wearing something like this. They would think this this looks like something that, a, a, I don't know, a homeless person would wear, that they found a bag of clothes and they just put it all on. I don't, this is a mental, this looks like a mental person has dressed this person. I don't understand it. Her proportions are out of whack. It's gross. I hate it. But it's on trend, guys, track star style. This one, however, going back, going back. Going back, sorry, I didn't. My pause game was not strong. This one, I like this look. I like this. I don't trust myself to wear white. It is very fifties blanket. Oh, this. I like the skirts, the individual pieces, but some of these pieces are just no. Just the and the styling does. How do they? I don't know how they sell the clothes with the styling that they do because I don't know. But why would you want to wear that outfit? But I love full white outfit for, for white's my favorite color. I don't wear it very often because I'm a mess and I'll spill and wipe up against things and ride them myself and get Nico and pen and all that stuff. But I think it looks beautiful and elegant and clean and gorgeous. And I love the styling. I love the textures, the proportions are on. That jacket looks hella expensive. It just and the and all the colors are on the right tones for each other. The model is it's all this is perfect for me, perfect styling. And this is winter white, all white for winter. Yeah, no. And this one's my final. Oh no, we got some cool pants at the very end. Oh, this is called the no pants look. Pants are out. Pants are out for 2024. They are not the look, guys. Do you remember bummers? We used to have to wear bummers at school for sports day. We didn't get to wear shorts or pants. We used to have to wear bummers over our knickers and we would run in those. That's, that's budgie smugglers with your best polo shirt that you've stolen from your husband with a pair of flip-flops. I feel like this is something that I would see down at Centrelink or maybe the TAB. This is the night after, not the night of. I don't understand this look. And look, the model doesn't even look happy about it. That is a resting bitch face if I've ever seen it. Pants are out for 2024, guys. They're out. Yeah, I'm I I'm I do trends if I know they suit me or if I'm drawn to them, but I won't specifically hunt something down if it's on trend. If I see it and I like it and it looks good, I'll go with it. But I don't necessarily go, oh, that's so 2024, I'm not wearing it, you know? Now this one, florals. This is the floral twin trend. I feel like, guys, if we tried hard enough, we could make this. We could make this. We could go and get just a really good bra and undie set, skin toned. Go to Spotlight, get ourselves some fishing or mosquito net that you'd make sort of like a chill skirt or something out. Make like a boob tubey one and just get some cotton wool buds and just throw that on there. Maybe a little bit of lace or a little bit of ribbon and this is it. It's, if I see... Melissa McCarthy wearing this on the red carpet this season. If I see who would wear something like this, if I saw Lizzo wearing this, if I saw, hell, Queen Latifah wearing this, I'm going to be very upset because their stylist is fucked and not, they don't like their client at all. This is This is horrible. I don't know anywhere you could wear it. Would that be someone's wedding dress? That somebody would wear that as a wedding dress, wouldn't they? They would. Uh, Sala would love it. Pretty curtains, yep, and it looks hella flammable as well. Now, the last item I found on Pinterest, it's been haunting me. This item. Now, I have mixed feelings. No, I have very strong feelings about these pants, but I want to see what you guys think. They are called trumpet pants. What do we think, guys? 
What do we think about the cut and the shape of these? The most comfortable jeans you've ever worn. Do you need to see it again? We'll need to see it again. Just in case you missed how cool those pants were. Yeah, I don't know how much they cost because I've never looked into it because I think they're, they're fucking hideous. I like the style of the hot pink. I've got hiccups. I'll, I'll go back. There we go. There we go. Okay, here we go. Just in case. Look at the shape. What is, I don't understand them. They're called trumpet pants. They they make me think of rickets. Like if you've got ricket or bandy legs. But apparently the comfortable is all get out. I don't understand. I, I, I really enjoy fashion, but I still don't understand it sometimes. That's why I like to stick to personal styling. I do enjoy watching the fashion shows because there are some beautiful, beautiful clothes out there and then there's some clothes that you just think, fuck, what are you thinking? You are just, you're just making shit up at this point. Um, I have been watching the latest season stuff because I watched one and then all the other ones are popping up. And so far, Gucci was probably my biggest disappointment. Horrible. And I usually like Gucci stuff. Boring as all fuck. Horrible cuts, horrible fabrics and my favorite one is probably been I think Versace they did some really beautiful menswear and they did some really nice suiting for women the formal wear is pretty predictable but um and then oh who was the um the Middle Eastern designer Mora um I can't remember his name but I'll go and look it up his designs are beautiful we'll watch that one next time oh my god i'll pick up oh, you can't watch the whole thing because it goes for like half an hour but some of the his designs and the fabrics oh my god i think his last name is murad lamar murad or something like that he's been around for a long time beautiful ridiculously priced but gorgeous stuff i'll throw in some of those at the end just for fun but anyway guys they do have big pocket yeah but <laughs> yes they are they not giving i need some milk they're ricket pants <laughs> and they're the weirdest length like they're not midi length you can't cuff them they're not full length they're just like gauchos but bananas i don't understand them i don't understand them me and m clothing line oh i have to go and look them up and i'll see if i can show you some more of that herb that um that designer that i found on instagram with the holy jeans she does do some other cute like actual cute stuff those jeans were not my taste but her other stuff was like i was like oh my god i would totally wear these things and she wasn't too expensive for me anyway i thought so I don't, I'm not, oh, I just, I don't know. I devour clothing and styles and I don't buy a whole bunch, but I like to look at and think about and create in my mind. You know, some people draw, some people paint and, or some people like garden and some people like that's their, that's their creative outlet or they do sewing or something. Putting together outfits from top to bottom and looking at them and figuring them out and touching them and looking at the color combos and how would I do it? How would I fix it? Or, or building it for people, that's my creative thing. That's that's I can't draw and I can't write and I can't sing, but what I can do is put outfits together and have fun with fashion and get it wrong but get it right and just play with it. That's where I like to do. That's what my brain likes. It likes to organise things like that. But I'll go and check out M and Me. I like that. Yes, I have seen that video. I hate Daisy Dukes. Daisy Dukes are one of my biggest pet peeves. I absolutely hate them. Unless they are the right length, I just, I don't understand. A man cannot walk around with his ball hanging out of his shorts, but how can we as women walk around with our tits almost falling out, with our nips being exposed? Because they are genitalia. Breasts and asses are genitalia. How can we walk around with our butt cheeks hanging out? Like you can, if you can see the crease on your butt, that's too short. If you can almost see a nipple, that is exposure. A man cannot walk out with his knob hanging out or his ball sack hanging out, but how do we get away with having our badge, butt cheeks and nips out? I don't understand it. I just don't understand it. But yes, I have seen that video and I found it very, very funny. 
Yes, and that's the thing. Designers, the only time I would buy designer wear, unless I absolutely loved it, someone else was paying for it, or if it was uh, pieces that would last the test of time, like iconically basic pieces, nothing cheap and cheerful is exactly that. Cheap, cheerful, one or two seasons, throw it away, or it's worn out or it's busted or I'm passing it on to somebody else who will love it just as much as I did when I bought it. Because guys love it, we don't. Well, I dress for me. I don't dress for others. And I've got big boobs anyway. It's hard to hide them. But I don't like Nick's. I know, and I know Daisy Dukes are an American thing. Well, we have them here. Don't you worry. In the summertime, we see plenty of butt bum cracks. But I'm just an old, fuddy-duddy, middle-aged lady. You wear, if it's your body, wear what you want. But in my brain, I'm thinking those shorts look horrific and they are too short. That's what my brain's saying. Okay, that's just my brain, not my mouth. Okay. I know, I know. I used to dress for work because I was in fashion for a long time, but now I do it now. For me, it's strictly for me. It's not for work. And yeah, it's it's fun again. It stopped being fun for a long time. Okay, guys. All right. Well, I'm gonna go and have my golden rice for dinner because I'm stopping and I've got to go back to work tomorrow. Um I think we're all up to date. I have got some other content. Um, I will try and limit glitter and lasers um, and we'll just watch other stuff. But I like the little fashion stuff. It's fun for me. I know it may be a bit boring and a bit dumb for you guys, but that's what I like to do. So that's what we we'll continue doing as well as the Ambi stuff, glitter and lasers, and I will do that body cam video with you next time because it was so interesting. I was like, oh, my God, you guys are going to love this. It's so juicy. So we'll watch that next time. Yay! That's okay. I'm glad everybody was here. I will see you guys next time. Please hit the like on the way out. Um, if there's any brands or anything that you absolutely love that you'd like me to curate or just have a look at or just check out for my own personal shopping, please let me know. Put it in the comments or DM me on Instagram or send it to my email address, doeyedcookie at gmail.com. Do it there. You can, you can send me whatever you like, pictures, brands, links, whatever, okay? All right, well, hope everyone has a good day and a good evening and a good sleep or a good wake up, whatever wherever you are, because I'm sure everybody's everywhere. All right, everyone, bye. Thanks for coming and hanging out. I'll see you guys tomorrow maybe or the next day. We'll see. All right.